and number eight, Jalen Armwood. Captains for the Parkview Baptist Eagles will be number 11, Colton Jumanville, number eight, Terry Tolliver, number seven, Lad McKay, and number 50, Hunter Wascom. So we're watching live right now, head referee Paul Berry talking to the kids. And Kevin, let us know what happens. Yeah. The Bears have both of our guys, both of their their senior guys out here at, at the toss. And I'm, I think he wants to say, to say, hey, guys, for the first game of the season, we want to let those seniors, those two guys, especially both of these guys, these guys are really uh, – uh, college athletes, they were college prospects. He's trying to set the tone right now with for Parkview and say, hey, these are our two best guys we got out here. They're about six foot, six one, and they're kind of, you know, at the middle of the, of the coin toss, you're trying to size each other up here. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> you know what? I didn't really make it out to the coin toss probably as much as you did, Kev. I can tell you that much right now. Always kind of an honor. Yes, so there's the toss. Paul's looking at, it looks like the Parkview Baptist Eagles have won the toss, and they're going to defer to the second half. So now referee Paul Berry, we look at Cameron Dartez and decide. And, and if it's anything traditional of Coach Gabe Fertitta, he's going to want to want the ball. That's usually what ball. Coach Gabe goes for. Yes. We'll see what he does here. And interesting out there right now, folks, Colton Jumanville was the starting quarterback for the Eagles. He went down preseason, so they're going to have the backup in tonight. So here's the call. Catholic High will receive the football. Yes, that's big. And, and, and to finish what you were saying about, about Colton, I really love that young man on film. Uh, just for him to be able to, a linebacker, to be able to come in and play quarterback, that says a lot about him as a person, as a, as a, as a young man, to do whatever the coaches uh, would ask of him. And I think that's big. It's, it's hurtful that he can't be out here tonight, but, hey, hey, we, we, I do appreciate that man on film. I really did. Yeah, you know, it's always that next man up mentality. We see it all the yes. time at Catholic High. Parkview Baptist is no exception. One of the things head coach Jay Mayu said was their numbers are a little bit down. So we're going to see a lot of guys playing both ways tonight yes. for the Parkview Baptist Eagles. Catholic High will have the advantage that they will have most guys, really only one or two, might play one or two positions tonight. And, folks, we're going to have the national anthem. So we're going to take a pause right now on the radio, and we'll be right back here on 104.5 and WBTR Baton Rouge. Yeah. Hey, and welcome back to Catholic High Football here on 104.5 ESPN, the Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Dixon McMakin, voice of the Bears here with the original Mr. Football Friday Night, Kevin Franklin, and the other grizzly great in the booth, David Butler. And welcome back, folks, listening in on 104.5 ESPN. We're here live from Olympia Stadium. Catholic High School and the Parkview Baptist Eagles about to kick off what will be the first game of the 2018 season for the Louisiana High School Athletic Association. Catholic High did not win the toss. Parkview won and deferred to the second half. And the Bears will receive the football. So we will see the Catholic High offense come out against the Parkview Baptist defense. Kev, at this time, let's go through the Parkview Baptist defensive starters for us. Thank you, Dixon. We have number 52 at defensive end, Zayden Bhutan. We have number 68 at defensive tackle, Matthew Shannon. We have number 65 at defensive tackle, Damian Sibley. 
We have number 15 at defensive end, Saitona Rollins. At inside linebacker, number 32, David Marley. Number 33 at inside linebacker, Ian Poche. At outside linebacker, we have Cody Miller. Bringing up that secondary, we have the left cornerback at five, Dustin five, four, nine, Philippe. Oh. We have strong, strong safety. We have Kyle Washington. At free safety, number five, we have Daryl Sesprin. At right corner, we have Ter Terry Tolliver, number eight. Yeah, this defense for the Parkview Baptist Eagles will really get tested here. Senior quarterback Cameron Dartez and the phenomenal running backs and backs for the Catholic High Bears. Back to receive deep for the Bears will be number six, Josh Parker, and number one, Braylon Morgan. Kicking off for the Eagles will be number 18, Malik Abraham. And there's the kickoff, and it will go all the way back into the end zone. So the Catholic High Bears will take over first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Kevin, it just feels like a really great night for football right now. It really what do you is. say? It really is. What I want to say too, the special teams, they lost a, a senior last year with uh, Patrick, Patrick Mensa. Patrick Mensa actually turned, returned about four or five touchdowns last year. So seeing those other guys, seeing Parker back there and seeing Braylon back there, to be able to see if we can get some productive from them is awesome. So here comes the Bear offense led out there by senior quarterback Cameron Dartez. Of course, Catholic Highs in the black hat uniforms, black uniforms, orange colors. Dartez at shotgun. We got double twins. Josh Parker in the backfield. Here comes Edward Francis to the near side. Catholic Highs going right to left on your radio dial. There's the snap to Dartez. He drops back, looks right, pumps fake, now goes deep down the field. Got Forrest Roar at the 45 and just overthrows him down the field. That was that classic pump and go to Forrest Roar, Kev. Yes, yeah, a pump and go there. What they was doing is trying to lower him sleep to see if they can go deep early. He pumped him. He didn't He didn't sell that, that, that pump. If, if the wide receiver would have sold it, sell it a little bit and then run deep. And that's the play last year that ended the ball game for the Bears, the <laughs> pump and go for us, Roy, the yes, last sir. second. So now the Bears will have second and 10 from the 20-yard line. We're 11.54 to go. Dartez now will go under center. we will have one receiver to each side. That's Barhorse to the near side. He's going to come in motion. He's the H-back. He's going to line up now as the normal fullback. Josh Parker is the running back. There's the quick toss to Parker. Right side, he gets to the 24, down at the 25-yard line. A pickup of five for Josh Parker. It'll bring up third and five from the 25-yard line. I think they really found a hole. Third and five from the 25. They found a guy that can really do well and punch that ball. I really like the way he's tough and he, he, he gets extra yards after the contact. Now the Bears, third and five from the 25, will go empty backfield here. Three to the near side, two to the far side. Cameron Dartez is at shotgun. Parkview has four men on the line of scrimmage. The rest, defensive backs all over. Dartez waiting on the snap. That's the center, Brian Hibbert, Jr., returning starter for the Bears. Dartez just taking up the middle of the QB dive. He's got five yards. He's across the 35, 36, 37 to the right side, and he will be down at the 38-yard line, and that will be a first down Catholic high. Great job, guys. Right there, you saw him yeah, get in there, get yards. They, they, they were looking at a three-deep coverage. Whenever you have a three-deep coverage, those guys, it's opportunity for getting more yards when you do a three-deep coverage. Great pickup right there by Dartez. We'll have first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Once again, the Bears are going empty backfield, three to the near side, two to the far side. There's Trey Benson coming in motion. We now have quads to the near side, single receiver to the far side. Dartez with the quick pass to the near side. There we go. And he's going across the 45-47, and he'll be tackled down inside bounds. It'll be close to first down. They're going to say he picked up nine yards on the play. It'll be second and one from the 47-yard lines for the Bears. Great job on the quick pass by Trey Benson. I love that play. That's basically a sweep. That's an extended sweep. That's an extended sweep. I love that play. Basically, what he is to be able to get nine yards off that is awesome. Yeah, great job by Trey Benson. That is a true freshman, folks, right there that's in the ball game, and he'll see a lot of touches this year. So the Bears will now have second and one. They're going to call it from the 47-yard line. Dartez under center, backfield in his backfield, single set. Fake to Josh Parker. Now he'll roll back. He's at the 35, gets a little pressure, rolling to his right, sees the receiver and throws it short. Great job by Dartez right there. Instead of throwing the interception, throws it away to Forrest Roy. It'll bring up third and one from the 47-yard line. The poise on that play for him to get out and roll out and to be able to throw that ball to the ground where nobody can intercept it. Last year, he kind of had a problem with a couple of interceptions last year. This year, he's doing. I think he's going to do a lot better this year. Yeah, great job. Great awareness right there by Dartez. So now the Bears are substituting a lot of players in there. We got Greg Martin to the near side, Forrest Roy to the far side, Josh Parker's in the backfield. Charles Barhorse, the H-back. Dartez now talking, going to loop for the quick snap. 
Cubics, the tight end of the right side. Dartez under center, quick snap, hands off to Josh Park. He's on the right side, across the 50, first down, Catholic Kai. He'll get to the 49-yard line. Bears are in Parkview Baptist territory. Good job, Bears, good job, Bears. For him to be able to get his shoulder square, hey, no fancy business. Get the ball upfield, let's get us the first down, let's start over. Yeah, and that was one of those quick huddles that they'll go to every now and then, try to get the defense off of their feet right there. So we'll have first and 10 from the 49-yard line, 5.57 to go in the first quarter. Here's Dartez back at shotgun, one to the near side, two to the far side. Cubics the H-back. Here comes Greg Martin. He's coming across the line of scrimmage. He's now to the near side. Braylon Morgan in the backfield. There's the snap, handoff to Morgan, up the center. He's at the 49, cross the 45, 43, 42. Getting a big push, he's still on his feet, and he keeps joining. He gets the first down for Catholic Kai, all the way across the 40 to the 38-yard line, 11-yard pickup by Braylon Morgan. Kerr dog football. He got in there and got those yards, man. He kept his feet moving. That's what all you can ask for, a good running back right there, man. Awesome job. Great job by Braylon Morgan. He will stay in the ball game. Dart has it, shotgun, one to the near side, two to the far side. Bar horse coming in, late receiver here. Bears have first and 10 at the 38-yard line, 9.27 to go, first quarter. Parkview Baptist has three D linemen on the line, four linebackers, three, four defense. Here comes Trey Benson in motion behind Dartez, and there will be a flag on the play. And it came from the far sidelines. So we're waiting to see what the call is from referee Paul Berry. We're going to have an illegal motion on the Bears. Don't, don't see Coach Gabe for Tita arguing too much over there, so he might have seen what it was. <laughs> he saw something that he liked. Yeah, we didn't quite see it, so that'll push the Bears back five yards. So they'll have first and 15 from the 43-yard line, 9-16 to go. Catholic High, first quarter. Dartez now at shotgun, one to the near side, two to the far side. Barhorse, the H-back on the right. Braylon Morgan, the running back, to Dartez's right. Here comes Trey Benson in motion. Similar play, option's gonna fake it. Now he's going to his right, and there he's caught by a Parkview Baptist defender. That's number 38 for the Eagles with the great job by the linebacker, Jacob Gilbert, getting Dartez in the backfield right there, and that'll push the Bears back even further, Kev. Not good right here. Parkview on an option, those guys are kind of known for the option play. So what we do is stretch that play along the line of scrimmage and let the, hey, don't let that guy turn the corner. Yeah, great job. Give the defense credit right there. It'll be second and 19. Catholic High is now pushed back to the 46-yard line. Dartez at shotgun. He now has three to the near side, one to the far side. Running backs in the backfield to his right. Wait on this. There's the snap. Good snap. He steps back. Set up the screen to the left side. He's got Josh Parker. Blockers in front. 40, 35, 34. He's got, got some room going out to the right Let's side. Go. 30, Let's go. 25, 20. He's still on his feet and out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Josh Parker picks up a first down. Catholic guy. Good job by that young man to get in the open field, make some plays. We saw this play, this screen play last year. I mean, last week, he did an awesome job with it. Catch the ball in open field and make, make a play, man. Catholic guy picks up the first down to be first and 10 from the 16. They're going to hurry up offense now. Trips to the right side. Quick pass to Forrest Roar against the Catholic High sideline. He's across the 15 and pushed out of bounds. He might have picked up a first down right there. They're going to say he's just out of bounds at the 12-yard line. So they're going to say he picked up nine yards, second and one Catholic High at the six-yard line. What we're seeing is a balanced offense by Catholic. They're doing a great job of keeping that ball, keeping them off balance. Dart has it shotgun. I guess the same play. Quick pass to Forrest Roar to the right side. He's at the three, two, and he's pushing his way into the end zone. And they're going to say he is down, but there is a flag on the play. Flag at the four-yard line. Bears had that quick trip to the far side, threw that quick pass to Forrest Roy. Most likely will be a penalty against the Bears. And there it is, a holding against the Bears. So they're going to push them back here. You know, very rare, Kevin, that you run the same play twice in a row. Catholic High, Hudson Fuller, yes. offensive coordinator, must be yes. seeing something right yes. there. That was what I was going to say. He sees something that he like on that side. He sees the either the safety or the corner playing off or the safety playing playing a little loose, and he wants to go to that play. It's just it's equivalent to a run. Basically, all that is a short run. Yeah, short run with that quick pass. So here we go now. Bears push back, but they'll have second and seven from the 14-yard line. Two receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Braylon Morgan, the running back, he's at the shotgun next to Cameron Dartez, the quarterback. There's the snap. Handoff to Braylon Morgan up the middle. He'll get behind the big line, kind of squirm around a little bit. He's across the 12, 11. They're going to say he's down at the 11-yard line. Pick up a four for the Bears. So they were going to have third and five from the 11-yard line. Great job by Braylon Morgan right there to get behind those big old line, Kev. Yeah, big old line, can push it. And what I like about that is he's a different type of back. 
Josh and, and him have a two, two, two different skill sets. Josh would have got it up in there. Braylon kind of scat back. Yeah, scat back, <laughs> doing a good job. We want lots of scat tonight. Three to the near side, two to the far side, empty backfield. Dart has a shotgun, gets the snap. There's the QB dive in the middle. He's across the 10, 5, 4, he's stretching out at the goal line. And they're going to say he's just short at the one yard line. Dartez with the dive play. He got 10 yards on the play. And look, hey, here go the Bears right here. Kevin Rowan, right back, quick offense. Empty backfield, Dartez is now going to go under center right here at the one yard line. First and goal, Catholic High. He's going to try to push it in. Spins off the right side. Touchdown! Catholic High. He's going to try to push it in. Spins off the right side. Dartez. He's Catholic High, Catholic High, Catholic High. That was a perfect example of controlling the ball, balancing between pass and run, and to pound that ball in there. Parkview was on the heels the whole night. They just kept the ball as ball control at its finest. Great job right there. We got some short passes, quick passes, runs to the left, one's the right, a screen pass. Bears looking good so far. Now Cameron Dartez will come on. He'll be the holder. Kicker this year will be number 48, Matthew Goodson. Deep snapper, Elijah Reams, for our first extra point of the season. The kick is up, and it's good. So after the Cameron Dartez touchdown and the Goodson extra point, Catholic High leads the Parkview Baptist Eagles seven to nothing with 6:47 to go here in the first quarter. You are listening to Catholic High football here on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. The living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> At Calandro Supermarket, we're huge fans of our Catholic High Bears. It is our football team on Friday nights, bar none, and not just because we're neighbors down Government Street or just friends in the same town. Two generations of Calandros, seven Bear grads in total, have played sports at CHS and are proud alums. So you can bet we're excited about talking about our Bears this year as the defending state champs. And we hope you make Calandros your Friday night tailgating stop on the way out to Olympia Field this season. And welcome back to Catholic High football. Catholic High is up 7 to nothing, 6.47 to go in the first quarter. Matthew Goodson just kicked off for the Bears and kicked it all the way into the end zone. So the Parkview Baptist Eagles will start on the 20-yard line. And coming out for Parkview will be the backup quarterback, Roman Mula. He's replacing Colton Jumanville, who's out for the season, or at least for the season right now. And here comes that Parkview Baptist offense. Veer, option. Which guy do you defend? Where do you look? Every now and then they will surprise you with a pass, though, and they got a great receiver out here to the near side, Kyle Washington, something the Bears need to be aware of. Parkview Baptist coming out now in a twins formation. They'll have two receivers to the near side. Mula under center. Heavy to the right side. There's the option, toss to the right. Running backs number five, Daryl Ciprian. And he'll get across the 20 down to the 24 yard, 23 yard line, they'll say. A pickup of three on the play for Cyprian. And it'll be second and seven for the Parkview Baptist Eagles. Yeah, seeing those linebackers tonight, I'm interested in seeing the linebackers tonight do a good job of stringing those plays out and seeing them fill some of this void of these three linebackers that we lost last year with all the tackles. Yeah, we lost the three linebackers, the starters, but in now for the Bears, number 10, Hayden Shaheen, number 34, Landon Richard. And number two, Harper Massey, and we'll see a lot of number 27, Patrick Delight as well. Here comes Parkview lined up in a tight formation, twin receivers. There's the option. He's going to keep it now around the right side. And there's Jalen Armwood, Taiwan McDowell, excuse me, to make the tackle, but a first down pickup for Roman Mulai. So he'll get across the 35 all the way down to the 38-yard line. And now we're going to have a referee timeout. And that's going to be our first hydration timeout of the ball game. So they'll take a break on the field, and we're going to take a break here in the studio. You're listening to Catholic High Football. Bears lead 7-0, 6.01 to go in the first quarter. 
We're live on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. At Calandro Supermarket, we're huge fans of our Catholic High Bears. It is our football team on Friday nights, bar none, and not just because we're neighbors down Government Street or just friends in the same town. Two generations of Calandros, seven Bear grads in total, have played sports at CHS and are proud alums. So you can bet we're excited about talking about our Bears this year as the defending state champs. And we hope you make Calandros your Friday night tailgating stop on the way out to Olympia Field this season. And welcome back to Catholic High football here at Olympia Stadium. Catholic High leads seven to nothing. Clock is running. We're at 5:55 in the first quarter. Just had our first hydration timeout. Here comes the Parkview Baptist Eagle. Just got a big first down run there at the 37-yard line, going left to right on your radio dial if you're listening on 104.5 ESPN. That's quarterback Roman Mula under center. Number one, Shy Rivers in the backfield. Number five, Daryl Ciprion as well. There's the fake handoff to the left side. Nobody was there. The Catholic High Bears pick him up, but he still gets, they're going to say two on the play right there. So a gain of two, it'll be second and eight for the Eagles. Well, it looks like the, the quarterback looked like he went the wrong way. The fullback went to the other, other way. He, went, he, he turned around and went the wrong way. I don't know about two on that play, but I'll give it to him this play. That's a former running back blaming it on the quarterback. I'm a former <laughs> quarterback going to say, I think it was the fullback's fault. So we will see who's... <laughs> who's who wins that? Not our offense. Second and eight from the 39-yard line. New line under center, one receiver to the near side, one to the far side in a tight formation. He'll fake the center option. No, he'll give it to him to the left side. That's their big, big fullback over there. Let's see which one that is. They got several fullbacks they'll go to all the way down. Black Hat defense getting him. That was 39, Connor Reed. He'll be their main fullback tonight. Reed will pick up five on the play. They'll call it third and three at the 44-yard line now, Kev. Yeah, number 39, I've seen it when I watched him on film. He'll bring the hat now. He'll, he'll lower his hat. He'll give you a hit. He won't take one. But those bad, that front defensive line, hey, they're really, really tough, anchored by Connor Finucane. Finucane's a large human, and really Reed is a large <laughs> human as well. So here we go, third and three, 44, Parkview under center. Went for the hard snap right there. Bears don't jump. Number one, Shy Rivers was in motion. There's the snap. Fake that left side. He's going to give it to the right on the counter. That was Daryl Ciprion, and he has tackled it. Is going to happen. Talking to Coach Wanda, he said the same thing. Hey, you never know who's going to win these games. We might have a better team, but hey, it is Parkview Survivor again. Back to punt will be Corey Richardson for the Eagles. Back to receive for the Bears, standing at the 21 yard line will be Jonathan Medier, the strong safety for the Bears. Bears look like they're going to put on a heavy rush. Here they come. Kick is up, a nice spiraled kick. Medier says, get away from it and it's going to bounce right at the 16-yard line. So the punt right there for Richardson will go out of bounds at the 16-yard line, and Catholic High will take over with three minutes, 20 seconds to go. They lead 7 to nothing. We're actually going to keep it right here, folks. The Catholic High offense is already kind of huddling up on the sideline, so we're going to keep it right here instead of going to an ad. Kevin, great job right there by that Catholic High defense to stop the Parkview Baptist Eagles when it looked yes. like they were getting a little momentum there. Yes, yes. What they were trying to do with the option play, that triple option is always hard, but you have to stay fundamental. The Richard right there, he stayed fundamentally strong, and he was able to stop that run. Great job by Richard right there, and, of course, big old Connor Finucane, baby, getting in there and stopping them. And here comes that Bear offense, once again led by senior quarterback Cameron Dartes. Braylon Morgan in the backfield, one receiver the near side, one to the far side. Bar horse goes in motion to the far side. Strong right now. They'll hand off to Braylon Morgan. He'll get the sweet play, and he's met immediately right there by 32, David Mueller, the linebacker. Yeah, for the Eagles right right there. Right now. And he'll have hand to, off to Brian Morgan. he get the sweet play, and he's met immediately right there by 32, David Mueller. Along the line of scrimmage, I believe that the, the, the key to this today is to get that ball inside in between the tackles. Morgan is the running back, though, if you're going to try to string it out and stretch yes. it. That's the one you want. Yes. So here's Dartes in shotgun. 
Cubix, the tight end coming in motion to the near side. So we'll have a power left, two receivers to the near side. He's going to fake the handoff. Dartez now rolling to his left, looks downfield. He's got number 82, Solomon Singleton, on the catch at the 30-yard line. He'll advance to the 31-32. First down, Catholic Kai. Great job, Dartez to Solomon. Great route out there, man. He ran that comeback route. He got the guy going full up field and turned the back and come get it. Good job. Way to catch the ball with your body. Solomon Singleton, one of our larger receivers. Didn't see him last year. First time the Bears will see him and hear that name. Dartez and shotgun now. The quick handoff up the middle, and there's the running back. There he goes, 21, Jake Outlaw. He's across the 40, 45, 35, 30. He's all the way down to the 28-yard line. Outlaw just right up the middle, breaking all the laws right there, Kev. I fought the law, and the law won. Between the tackles, they cannot come between with the Catholic High with the offensive line. Hey, get between those tackles, those big old guys up front. Bankston, all those guys, and get right behind them and get some yards. Great job by Outlaw right there. He's probably the largest of our running backs this season. Reminds you of those Berrigans and those uh, yes. from last season. So Dartez and shotgun yes. now. Martin will go to the far side, three to the far side. 24, Grisafi now will go in motion. Bad snap right there, fumbled. Dartez ah. picks it back up, and there's the Parkview Baptist Eagle defense to just smother him right there. Yes. From last season, so Dartez and shotgun now. Now we go to the far side, three to the far side, 24 to the And I think we had a good play on the outside, which, you, like you said, on the outside of that, outside of that offense. A Parkview defender is down on the field, and we will take a break here. That'll be our Moro, Moro Physical Therapy Injury Timeout. So we'll take a break here, and we'll be right back on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Bolton's Health Mart Drug Store is a proud sponsor of this year's Catholic High Grizzly Bears football team. Bolton's, like Catholic High, is a part of Baton Rouge's history and has long been one of our city's neighborhood pharmacies. The next time you need a unique gift idea or for any medical prescription need, think of Bolton's Health Mart Pharmacy, 2958 Perkins Road. For delivery in South Baton Rouge area, call us, 343-4869, 343-4869. Bolton's Health Mart, peace of mind today and into next century. And welcome back to Catholic High Football here, 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. That was Zabian Butan. He was hurt on the play, coming off the field, getting the trainers down there. Dartez and shotgun now, second and 12 from the 31. Three receivers on the near side, one to the far side. Josh Parker is the running back in the backfield. He'll go in motion, go to the left of Dartez, low snap, but they'll hand off to Parker on the route side. He's at the 20, the 15. He's got some space, 10, 5. He's still on his feet and taken down right at the one-yard line. Great job by Josh Parker on just a simple dive, Kev. First down, Catholic High. Hey, no frills to this man's running style. He hits the ball. He hit it hard. He hit between those tackles, and he gets yards. That's what I – he gets paid. That's what I Here love. Here goes Catholic High on that quick offense now. Dartez at shotgun. He'll go for the sneak, and actually he'll get stopped right there. Parkview Baptist Eagles – all over him right there. So we'll have second and one, really second and goal for the Bears. Some players coming in, players coming out right now. Looks like we're going to go with our heavy load right here. Coming into the game, look at this, folks. Maybe he's our defensive player coming in. Elijah Reams coming into the football game right here. Didn't expect to call his number. He was teasing me at practice, said, I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to get the ball. I said, no, you're not. No, you're not. We might see it here. Reams is in the backfield with Dartez. He might be just a lead blocker, but we will see. Dartez is shotgun. Now he's going to take it. He's going to follow Reams. Dartez in for the touchdown. Catholic Kai, one-yard run, Cameron Dartez. Hey, that's a good job. Hey, when you saw him coming in the game, you knew pretty much he's going to go behind that big old guy. Elijah Reams is a big old, big old man. And I tell you, he's a grown man. That's what we call him out there. He's a grown man. Great job by Cameron Dartez, set up by the super long run by Josh Parker right there. And the Bears have taken the 13 to nothing lead with 46 seconds to go in the first quarter. On again for the kick will be Matthew Goodson. Elijah Reams just going to stay in the game and snap it, and Cameron Dartez will be the holder. He's at the 10 yard line to put the ball down. There's the snap, hold, kick is up. Pulled it a little bit left, and he pulled it a little too far. They're going to say no good. So Goodson unable to convert. But 
with 46 seconds left to go in the first quarter. It's Catholic High 13, Parkview Baptist nothing. We will be right back here on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Catholic High and Calandro Supermarket have been Mid-City neighbors for 77 years, since 1941. That's over three quarters of a century of minds and hearts educated, grocery served, Catholic High football games, and community outreach together in the heart of Baton Rouge. We are so proud to have two generations of Calandro men who are proud CHS alumni, and we look forward to another 77 years of academic, athletic, grocery store, and community excellence in the Baton Rouge area. Welcome back, folks, to Catholic High Football, 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Catholic High just got another touchdown with a one-yard touchdown run by Cameron Dartez, unable to convert the extra point. Catholic High leads 13 to nothing with 46 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Matthew Goodson will be kicking off from the 40-yard line and back to receive deep. For the Eagles will be number one, Shy Rivers will be back. Terry Tolliver will also be back to the left side. They know Goodson's a right-footed kicker. If he does, he might pull it. So great job by them to recognize that. And Goodson with the kick from the 40. There you go. He does pull it a little bit. So Tolliver will receive it at the six-yard line. He's across the 10, the 15. He's now going to cut to the far side of the field, trying to get around the Bears. He's able to. He's at the 25, 26, 7, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line, they will say. A 23-yard return by Tolliver right there. Right. And he just got outside that bear containment, Kev. Got down the field a little bit too quick. Usually when guys do that, they get out their lanes, and he was able to turn the corner. But the bear speed was able to go ahead and extend it and maybe extend to the sideline. Yeah, Tolliver is one of those definitely multifaceted super athletes that they have at the Parkview Baptist Eagles. But they'll start here first and 10 from the 29-yard line, 34 seconds to go in the first quarter. Potentially, this might be the last play of the first quarter. Parkview is going to be in a tight formation. Only one receiver to the far side. Three running backs behind him. That's Roman Mulock, quarterback number 12. Go in motion. They give the dive play right there. 39, Connor Reed again. And he'll advance. They'll say three yards on the play. So it'll be second and seven for the Eagles. At the 32-yard line. There's just that power Connor Reed up yes. the middle. Yes. Tough to stop. That dive and that dive option, they've been running that for years. They teach their eighth, seventh, sixth graders. I think I saw a second grader running the dive option at Parkview one day. I actually saw a, someone <laughs> give birth, and he dived out of the way of the OBGYN <laughs> from Parkview. That's how long they do it. So, And that will take us to the quarter. So we will end the first quarter. First quarter of action here in the 2018 season. Catholic High is up 13 to nothing on the Parkview Baptist Eagles. We will be right back after this ad on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. This is Brian Hightower, Catholic High School Class of 1997 and the Director of Alumni Relations. The CHS Alumni Association provides opportunities throughout the year for CHS alumni to reconnect with classmates and further their commitment to the mission of Catholic High School and the Brothers of the Sacred Heart. With more than 9,500 alumni worldwide, the association wishes the 2018 Football Bears the best of luck as they defend the state title. For more information on upcoming events, go to catholichigh.org. And remember, it's more than four. It's a lifetime. Go Bears. Bolton's Health Mart Drug Store is a proud sponsor of this year's Catholic High Grizzly Bears football team. Bolton's, like Catholic High, is a part of Baton Rouge's history and has long been one of our city's neighborhood pharmacies. The next time you need a unique gift idea or for any medical prescription need, think of Bolton's Health Mart Pharmacy, 2958 Perkins Road. For delivery in South Baton Rouge area, call us, 343-4869, 343-4869. Bolton's Health Mart, peace of mind today and into next century. Welcome back, folks, to Catholic High Football here on 104.5 Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. We're in the end of the first quarter. Catholic High leads the Parkview Baptist Eagles 13 to nothing. Parkview now has the ball going right to left on your radio dial. Been a pretty good ball game so far. Catholic High showing a lot of variety. The Catholic High defense putting a stop to this option offense. Parkview will have second and seven on the 32-yard line. Roman Mula, the quarterback, number 12, tight backfield, goes in motion. He'll give 
The quick read right there to the fullback. That's Connor Reed. He'll once again get a few more yards, Kevin. They're going to say three more yards. It'll be third and four from the 35-yard line. Yes. It's kind of hard to get between the tackles on those big old guys, man. But they're trying to do it. But that's their offense. They're going to stick to it. They're going to do it until it opens up something else, maybe a bigger, longer play, which lures you to sleep. Lures you to sleep, then you never know. That's when that when the wide receiver Washington can then come out of nowhere and go for a big play. Gotten offers right now from a couple schools, getting looked at by a few more. Big time receiver. Here we go. We got two receivers now for Parkview. One of the near side, one of the far side. Mulai will step back looking for the pass. There's the quick out to Washington. He'll get to the 41 yard line and they'll pick up the first down. So Parkview with the first pass of the ball game picks up six yards and we'll have first and 10 from the 41. Just like you said, a quick outplay. Hey, he's going against uh, Ty Taiwan McDowell right there. He just got up the field, get the, get the first down. Great receiver. He runs a great, great crisp route though. He runs really good routes when I saw him film. And very tough versus these Catholic High cornerbacks like we saw last week. Armwood and McDowell, really premier cornerbacks we have this year. So first and 10 from the 41. Mulan under center. He'll give the dive play right there. And once again, there's big Connor Reed. He got across the 45 down all the way to the 40. They're going to say the 48-yard line. That's just a bowling ball going through there, Kev, huh? Hey, it's a tough, tough run. But I say, did you see the free safety come up and make the hit? That's what I'm talking about because he came up. He's not afraid to hit people, man. Yeah, I'll make interceptions, but I'll hit you too. And that's what I, I like to see that. Yeah, Deuce Harrison told him in the meetings this week, once you see the running back with the ball, don't commit till you see the ball. But when once you see the ball, you go and attack right there. And that's what Medier did right there. Great job for the Bears. So they'll have second and two now from the 49-yard line. One receiver to the near side, one to the far side once again in their tight formation. Number four, Dustin Phillippe will go in motion, try to draw the Bears offside, but they don't jump. He's going to have the counter play there to number one. He stopped immediately. Great job right there by 34. Landon Richard again to meet number one, Shy Rivers, on the counter play, and they'll stop him. They're going to say he actually got a yard, so they'll give him to the 50-yard line. It'll be third and one directly at midfield. This is football right here, Kev. It is football Friday night, man. Those linebackers are doing a great job of staying at home. They're not overrunning the play. They're not anticipating either. They're reading what they see. Here comes Parkview now with the quick offense, hurry-up offense. Mulan mm -hmm. will get right behind the center. They're going to try to push him, and I do not think he got it. I think that black hat defense, D-line, Elijah Reams, Connor Finucane, Christian Menino, and John Landry, I think they stopped him. We're looking for the spot here. And let's see now, referee Paul Berry, he will give them the first down by an inch or two. They're going to say he got to the 49-yard line, but the Bears really, that looked close, looked like we almost stopped him there, Kev. Really, really, don't leave it up to the ref. Hey, if you're going to stop him, stop him. Don't leave it up to the refs. Don't leave anything uh, to be chanced. So now Parkview with a nice little drive here, first and 10 from the 49-yard line, 9.40 to go in the second quarter. There's the toss to the near side to Rivers, and he's taken down by number 53 for the Bears, John Landry, the defensive end, after he gets five yards to the near side on the toss. And it's going to be second and five from the 44-yard line. Hadn't seen a toss play yet, I don't think, from the Eagles. That's a long time. It was a long time. What I was, there was the base base blocking, weak, weak side toss. So basically that is, hey, your guy on my guy, I can turn the corner short side. So they took their chance on that one. Taking a chance, and it worked. They get a nice first down, five yards. It'll be second and five from the 44. 9.04 to go here in the second quarter. Parkview now with three wide receivers, one to the near side, two to the far side. And Mulan will keep the dive, and he'll go around the left side. He's got a little running room across the 35, missed tackle, and Bears can barely bring him down as he goes all the way to the 23-yard line on the keep right there for the quarterback, Roman Mula right there, and he picks up a first down for the Eagles. That quarterback keep, that quarterback keep is, is not anything fancy. It's the same thing. It's that dive option. It's the same play. The, the strong safety, the weak side linebacker has to come up on that play and make a play, but that's okay. A 20-yard pickup right there by Mula. What a Longest play of the game for the Eagles. And you know what really set that up, Kev, I think, was all those gives to Connor Reed. You give, yes. you give, you give. Yes. And that one time you pull, you see some open space and you go for it. Yes. Now the Eagles will have one of the near side, one of the far side. The I'm officials on. now coming in. It's going to be a timeout, Catholic Kai. So we'll Dozy Place in Mid-City, Baton Rouge is your family-friendly neighborhood steakhouse right around the corner from Catholic High. Just like the Bears, Doze is all in on their commitment to a winning team. They hand-cut their steaks daily with beef loins that are aged at least 21 days. 
So head to Doe's before or after the game and help them keep the winning tradition. Doe's Eat Place, located at 3723 Government Street, or call 387-5331 or visit doesbatonrouge.com. This is Director of Advancement Jamie Seeger from the Class of 1990 for the Fund for Catholic High School. Since 1894, the Brothers of the Sacred Heart have relied on gifts providing financial support to keep CHS strong. Your gift to the fund is essential to student success and allows our students to discover their true potential for success in life. Every gift counts and you can make a difference with your generous support through the legacy of giving at CHS. Giving is easy. Go to catholichigh.org to make your gift today. Parents, alumni, friends, together for every student, every year. Hello, can anyone hear me? Can anyone upstairs hear me? Mr. Hey, Kemper. we got audio, man. Ed. 
Football and investing have something in common. The stronger the team, the stronger the results. Let the team at Altus Wealth Management of Jesse Daigle, Mickey Guidry, Ronnie Brown, Brad Ewing, Wally McMakin, Jeremy Perk, John Reeder, and John Stewart be on your side for all of your investment needs. From IRA to 401k, Altus Wealth is the team for you. Call them today, 225-201-9300, or visit altuswealthmgt.com. Investment advisory services offered through Genos Wealth Management member FINRA SIPC. Calandro Supermarket is proudly celebrating 77 years in business with the best service, quality, and selection in Baton Rouge since 1941. And in those 77 years, two generations of Calandro men have graduated as proud CHS Bear alums. And we'll all tell you that we owe our success to the wonderful education we received at Catholic High. So whether it's at one of our two local grocery stores or at the CHS football games, we'd love to see you and join you in cheering. Go Bears! Yeah, because the grocery store runs. Three, so two, we'll go. one, cut it. Cut it. now. Yeah, see, we have audio back. I don't know what they were doing with the board there. Because when we, I'll explain to you later. That's what Joseph would be working on that, but he got pulled to go do the other stuff, and the other stuff stopped working. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. So go yeah, the all, yeah. I got it. It's not counting down. Hey, that's what Max up there. Well, the play hasn't started. And it's still not counting. <laughs> oh, gosh. Take it out first. I cannot hear you if oh, you were talking. Oh, got it. oh, they probably didn't start it up there. Yeah. I guarantee y'all aren't starting to count now. Are you talking? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, that's my car. You're going to go pro and do uh, go pro up there. I hope I'm not live. That's Mac. I don't know if he knows that. Mr. Kemper. Mr. Kemper. I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear each other. Oh, okay. You'll have a set up to, to, to Yeah. To, okay. We're supposed to be able to hear each other. It's if they can hear me or not, that's the question. It's coming out fine. Matt, can you hear me? No. Mr. Kemper, have I annoyed you yet? If you're speaking to me, I cannot hear you.
on the board. And so far, they're driving down the field. Dartez now looking for the play, looking to the sideline. One receiver to the near side, one to the far side. Bar horse in the backfield. Braylon Morgan as well. The quick O-line will turn around. Dartez under center. Going for the hard count. Parkview Eagle does not jump. Dartez now take the snap. There's the handoff to the left side. And Braylon Morgan is met immediately right there by number 38 for the Eagles. Linebacker Jacob Gilbert right there. Stopping Braylon Morgan. Now a decision to make. The Bears will have four and one from the 39-yard line. Really, it's fourth and two yes. from the 39-yard line. They got a cross to get to the 41-yard line. And here comes into the game. We're going to call this our jumbo package. Connor Finucane coming into the game, the largest football player that the Bears had this season. Finucane, he's going to come in and line up as the right tackle right now. He's going to push Hunter Chauncey out to the tight end position. Cameron Dartez will be under center. Barhorse goes in motion from the outside of the inside. And the Parkview Baptist Eagles see the – they see the offense – and the referee, there you go. He's calling a timeout, but it's for the Eagles. So the Eagles will have a timeout right here. So the Catholic High is up 13-7 to with 4.05 to go. And we're going to take a break as well right here on Catholic High Football, 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. The following is a paid program. The product, services, and opinion. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Bruin. At Calandro Supermarket, we're huge fans of our Catholic High Bears. It is our football team on Friday nights, bar none, and not just because we're neighbors down Government Street or just friends in the same town. Two generations of Calandros, seven Bear grads in total, have played sports at CHS and are proud alums. So you can bet we're excited about talking about our Bears this year as the defending state champs. And we hope you make Calandros your Friday night tailgating stop on the way out to Olympia Field this season. Welcome back, folks, to Catholic High Football here at 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. 4.05 to go. Catholic High has a fourth and one from the 39-yard line. Need to get across the 40-yard line and a little bit more to pick up the first down. Dartez will go in shotgun. Elijah Reams will be the H-back. Dartez will keep it to the right side behind Reams, and he'll pick up three yards, and that will be a first down for the Catholic High Bears. Great job right there by Elijah Reams to pick up the first down for the Bears. Gotcha. Great job to get by the Bears showed them a couple of a different, a lot of different sets to see which ones they went with. Hey, they got a good play. They dial up a good play. Hey, anytime you have time, you can dial up a good play. So we'll have 354 here when the whistle goes live. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. Dartez and shotgun. Braylon Morgan, the single back with him. Two to the far side, one to the near side. And Dartez now just watching the play clock, letting it go down. There's the snap. Handoff dive to Braylon Morgan up the middle. He's met at his feet by 51 right there for the Parkview Baptist Eagles. Harrison Warren on the tackle. They'll say he picked up, we'll call it one and a half, really one. So it'll be second and nine for the Bears at the 37-yard line. The clock is running right now, 3.24 to go till halftime. Dartez now the general, like Kev calls him, in 
Back in shotgun, two to the far side, one to the near side. That's Jake Outlaw will be the running back to his left. Hubix, the H-back to the left as well. Heavy to the left side for the Bears. Dartez, once again, watching that play clock. Gets a good snap. There's the handoff to Outlaw at the middle. He crossed the 30, 25, yes. And he'll get the first down, Catholic Kai. He's going to say they'll get all the way down to the 26-yard line. Great okay. job by the big outlaw going up the middle, Kev. Going up the middle. What they do with Catholic what is, is a running back by committee. Everybody gets a touch. Everybody gets to have a little fun. I love their offensive spread offense. Great job by the Bears. First and 10 at the 26. 2.53 to go here in the second quarter. Dart has a shotgun. Outlaw's going to stay in the game. And they're going to give it right back to him up the middle. Look at him just put his pads down and go forward. Pick up a five on the play. It'll be second and five from the 21-yard line. Hey, say it with your shoulders. Say it with your chest. That's what I call Outlaw, man. There's nothing fancy to what Outlaw does. Outlaw gets the ball, and he runs straight at you. He ain't trying to, he's not trying to cut. He hits the, hits the hole. That is the Berrigan and Parker Smith approach from last year yes. all the time. Just give yes. me the ball, and I'm running at you, yes. and I'm going to get some yes. yards. Yes. They used to call that yes. freight train football, baby, yes. just going yes. forward. Yes. Here we go, second and five, 21-yard line, 2.14 to go in the second quarter. Dartez now and Hibbert are looking at each other. And they're really going to take the play clock down right here. Play clock is going to be all the way at 15. Hibbert and Dartez still talking to each other. Now Hibbert will get over the football. Eight seconds to go on the play clock. 1.58 to go on the game clock. Greg Martin coming in motion into the backfield as an H-back. Fake the out, handoff to Outlaw over the middle. And they'll complete the pass to 84. Wide receiver right there. First time we've called his name, Jalen Toaston with the reception for the Bears. Fake the outlaw dive, and Tosin will pick up the first, first down for the Bears. First down Bears. Good job of pulling that ball and hitting right in the numbers with it. Something I said, as long as he, he, Cameron hits the ball in their numbers, I think this receiver's going to have a chance here tonight. So we will have first and 10 from the 10. So we're going to be first and goal here. And now with Les Miles, we call a strong dew is now coming down on the ball field. People in the stands bringing out the umbrellas. Dartez at shotgun now, first and 10, first and goal, 121 to go in the ballgame. There's the snap, handoff to Outlaw up the middle. He's across the 10, 8, 9, 5, still on his feet, still going, spinning, going. And he's finally taken down at the three-yard line. Pickup of seven right there for Jake Outlaw. Great job, Kevin, of not going down right there by Outlaw. Not going down, keeping his feet moving, and that's what I like about Outlaw's running style. He keeps his feet moving, and he's hungry. I think he's hungry to, to that tonight. Outlaw's going to stay in the game, second and three. They're going to give him the rock again, and, oh. oh, he goes to the left side. He actually slips, slips. right there. That's Makes some sense with a little bit of strong dew in the mist coming down. But they say he picked up one yard right there, so it'll be – Third and two. They're going to say third and three. So third and three, yes. third and goal. And then Outlaw right there actually coming out of the ball game. Josh Parker now coming in as the running back. Bears making a couple more changes. That's Michael Grisafi coming into the ball game. Cameron Dart has it shotgun. Parker Smith will be the running back to his right. Bears will go trip to the far side. Cubix the H-back on the left side as well. Man in motion. They were going to give it to Josh Parker, and he is met Man. in the backfield by big 58 mm. for the Eagles right there. Mm. Schaefer Cobb getting there, getting to him in the backfield. Great job by the Eagle defender. Great job to read it out. Hey, he came right out, right up there, there between that A gap. He, he, he sniffed that one out. Hey, much. Hey, great play by the Eagles. Yeah, right there. He definitely snuck through Hibbert and Alexander on the right side. And they took a timeout on the field. But we're going to stay right here for all of our people listening right now. We want to thank the CHS corporate partners, Walk-On Bistro, Mid-South Bank, Slocal, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola, Marucci, Moro Physical Therapy, Raisin Canes, Lamar, Shoppers Value, and Walters Papillon Thomas Cullins, Attorneys at Law. The Catholic Eye Bears are in the Baton Rouge Coca-Cola red zone with 10 seconds to go. It'll be fourth and five, and they've got to make a decision now. Do they go for the kick, the field goal, or do we try to punch it in? And don't forget, folks, if you're sticking around, listen, stay around. Special halftime guests will be Catholic Kai's own, LSU's own, the United States of America gold medalist, and Grizzly great Kurt Ainsworth will be joining us in the booth for halftime. You really you want to stick around and listen to that. We've got some really great things happening at Catholic Kai with Marucci Sports, so stick around for that. And now Catholic Kai will come out. Let's see. Does the kicker come out or does he not? And he does. So with 10 seconds to go, Matthew Goodson will come out to kick the field goal. He's going to line up 
at the 13-yard line. This will be a 23-yard attempt for Goodson. He's slightly on the left side of the field, not on the left hash, but left side. Dartez will be the holder. Elijah Reams the snap. Ten seconds to go. There's the snap. The kick is up. And it's no good. He pushed it to the right. So the Parkview Baptist Eagles get the stop of the Catholic High Bears in the Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Red Zone. The score remains 13 to seven, Catholic High. We, we have to be, be able to, to concentrate on that one. We have to cut, be able to make that field goal. That was no, no, hey, no ifs, ands, buts about it. We got to make that field goal, but that's okay. The Bears still have to have an opportunity here. So Goodson so far tonight made an extra point, missed one left and then pushed one right. You know, we lost Preston Stafford from last year. Great yes. field goal kicker now at the University of Arkansas up there. Yes. Really did a phenomenal job. So with the missed field goal, one of those high school rules is when you miss, they take the ball out to the 20-yard line. So if folks are watching us on Bruin Broadcast or WBTR, you'll see the ball will be placed out at the 20, and that's where they will start a rule in high school football, take it out to the 20. We're gonna, it says 10 seconds on the clock, but one of the things will be, you know, why was there no clock expired on a field goal? Right. Probably, there you go, they're gonna. Seven seconds. Yeah, go down three seconds right there. So they're gonna say seven seconds. Parkview Baptist is in a tight bunch formation. Tight formation, looks like they're just gonna take the knee right here. It yes. brings in halftime, but yes. hey, keep watching. You never know, yes. never know. Jonathan Eddie Hayes back deep just in case. And there's the snap and the knee. So that will take us into go. halftime. Catholic Cod leads the Parkview Baptist Eagles 13 to seven here from Olympia Stadium. And stick around right after this. We'll have a scoring recap with Mr. David Butler. Stats and highlights with Kevin and Dixon. And we'll be right back with our halftime guest, Kurt Ainsworth. You're listening to Catholic High Football on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Dozy Place in Mid-City, Baton Rouge is your family-friendly neighborhood steakhouse right around the corner from Catholic High. Just like the Bears, Doze is all in on their commitment to a winning team. They hand-cut their steaks daily with beef loins that are aged at least 21 days. So head to Doze before or after the game and help them keep the winning tradition. Doze Eat Place, located at 3723 Government Street, or call 387-5331 or visit dozebatonrouge.com. This is Brian Hightower, Catholic High School Class of 1997 and the Director of Alumni Relations. The CHS Alumni Association provides opportunities throughout the year for CHS alumni to reconnect with classmates and further their commitment to the mission of Catholic High School and the Brothers of the Sacred Heart. With more than 9,500 alumni worldwide, the association wishes the 2018 Football Bears the best of luck as they defend the state title. For more information on upcoming events, go to catholichigh.org. And remember, it's more than four. It's a lifetime. Go Bears. Hey Bear fans, the CHS Bookstore is geared up and ready for the 2018 football season. Arrive at the game in style this season. Come to the bookstore and check out all the latest apparel and fan gear and pack the stands in orange and black. Football tickets can be purchased right here for every game. Show your pride, Bears. Shop in the bookstore school days Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 3.30. Go Bears! Hey Bear fans, the CHS Bookstore is geared up and ready for the 2018 football season. Arrive at the game in style this season. Come to the bookstore and check out all the latest apparel and fan gear and pack the stands in orange and black. Football tickets can be purchased right here for every game. Show your pride, Bears. Shop in the bookstore school days Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 3.30. Go Bears! Dozy Place in Mid-City, Baton Rouge is your family-friendly neighborhood steakhouse right around the corner from Catholic High. Just like the Bears, Doze is all in on their commitment to a winning team. They hand-cut their steaks daily with beef loins that are aged at least 21 days. So head to Doze before or after the game and help them keep the winning tradition. Doze Eat Place, located at 3723 Government Street, or call 387-5331 or visit dozebatonrouge.com. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, 
not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Football and investing have something in common. The stronger the team, the stronger the results. Let the team at Altus Wealth Management of Jesse Daigle, Mickey Guidry, Ronnie Brown, Brad Ewing, Wally McMakin, Jeremy Perk, John Reeder, and John Stewart be on your side for all of your investment needs. From IRA to 401k, Altus Wealth is the team for you. Call them today, 225-201-9300 or visit altuswealthmgt.com. Investment advisory services offered through Genos Wealth Management member FINRA SIPC. And welcome back to Catholic High Football on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Let's get our first half scoring recap from Mr. David Butler. Thank you, Dixon. Catholic took the opening kickoff, drove 80 yards in 14 plays, used 513 on the clock. It was a Cameron Dartes one-yard run. Matthew Goodson added the point after Catholic led 7 to nothing. Then with 46 seconds left to go in the uh, first quarter, Cameron Dartes scored a, on another one-yard run for Catholic High. Goodson's point after failed. That was a seven-play, 84-yard drive, 234 in the possession, and Catholic led 13 to nothing. Parkview scored with 6.55 to go in the half. It was Chai Rivers on a six-yard run. Miles Darty added the point after. That was a 13-play drive, 71 yards, 5.39 on the clock. Our halftime score, Catholic High 13, Park View 7. And now Kevin Franklin will go over the first half stats with us here on Catholic High Football. Kev? Thank you, Dixon. As you know, the score is, uh, is the uh, Park View 7, the Bash 13. What stands out to me is the rushing yards, the rushing net yards. Uh, Park View have 16 to, with, with 76. Catholic has 25 with 165 yards. The total offensive plays is 34 for Catholic with 245 yards. The rushing leaders for the Parkview Eagles is Roman Mueller with five rushes for 39 yards and passing for two for three for 22 yards. For the Bears, the rushing leaders are five carries for 61 yards, Jake Outlaw and Joshua Parker had six carries for 61, 60, 63 yards. Cameron Dartes leads the Bears when passing with six attempts for nine completions with 80 yards. And Forrest Roy has two completions for, for 12 yards. The total tackles for the Bears with Landon Reshorts leading their linebacking core with three tackles and two assists. And that was your first half scoring recap and your first half stats here on the halftime show of Catholic High. Catholic High would like to thank all of our corporate partners, Walk-Ons Bistro, Mid-South Bank, Slocal, Badner's Coca-Cola, Marucci, Moro Physical Therapy, Raisin Cane, Lamar, Shoppers Value, Dalton's Health Mart Drug Store, Thomas Cullen, Attorneys at Law. We'll be right back here on the Raisin Cane's Halftime Show with our guest, Kurt Ainsworth, here on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Proud sponsor of this year's Catholic High Grizzly Bears football team. Bolton's like Catholic High is a part of Baton Rouge's history and has long been one of our city's neighborhood pharmacies. The next time you need a unique gift idea or for any medical prescription need, think of Bolton's Health Mark Pharmacy, 2958 Perkins Road. For delivery in South Baton Rouge area, call us 343-4869, 343-4869. Bolton's Health Mark, peace of mind today and into next century. Football and investing have something in common. The stronger the team, the stronger the results. Let the team at Altus Wealth Management of Jesse Daigle, Mickey Guidry, Ronnie Brown, Brad Ewing, Wally McMakin, Jeremy Perk, John Reeder, and John Stewart be on your side for all of your investment needs. From IRA to 401k, Altus Wealth is the team for you. Call them today, 225-201-9300, or visit altuswealthmgt.com. Investment advisory services offered through Genos Wealth Management member FINRA SIPC. 
At Calandro Supermarket, we're huge fans of our Catholic High Bears. It is our football team on Friday nights, bar none, and not just because we're neighbors down Government Street or just friends in the same town. Two generations of Calandros, seven Bear grads in total, have played sports at CHS and are proud alums. So you can bet we're excited about talking about our Bears this year as the defending state champs. And we hope you make Calandros your Friday night tailgating stop on the way out to Olympia Field this season. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> And welcome back, folks, to the Raising Canes Halftime Show here on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. We're honored to be joined now by Marucci, CEO, head chief, the big guy, Kurt Ainsworth, Catholic High grad, LSU grad, USA Baseball, and now Marucci's main man. We're going to get into a lot of that. But, Kurt, first game of the season, what do you remember about watching Catholic High football back in the day? It's always been a lot of fun. Even as a kid, I'd come out here and be a ball boy for my brother when he was out here playing with the original Friday night guy, here, Kevin Franklin. <laughs> uh, but I always had a lot of fun pulling uh, for the team to win. It's always a great crowd. And, of course, I forgot how the crowd is here. I had to park basically Our Lady of the Lake tonight to get here for the game. So a lot of excitement, a lot of tradition here. It's just it's great to be back. Yeah, some of the Parkview fans were teasing me, hey, we could have parked at Parkview and just walked over here, the amount of people that are in this parking lot tonight. There's no question. It's a great crowd. So you remember, you know, everyone knows, obviously, Kurt Ainsworth, Grizzly great in our Grizzly great Hall of Fame for his baseball career. Talk to us about maybe a couple of your best memories you have from the Catholic High baseball team. You know, I didn't pitch till my senior year. So I always tell people that I was a shortstop and you know, I thought I was a pretty good hitter and I thought I could play, but it just didn't turn out that way. And then going into my senior year, David Cresson uh, decided to throw me on the mound and I became a pitcher. So I went from being a, a decent shortstop to all I did was pitch. So, you know, that kind of hurt at the end of my career because I always thought I could uh, hit at the next level, but didn't do it. Couldn't hit at the next level. A lot of pitchers I hear think that at the next level. We all think we can hit. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Fungo, all Americans is what y'all are. Then you go on to LSU. You have an illustrative career there. I remember obviously coming out there and watch you early in your career in the midweek games. Then at the end, the Friday night starter. Yeah. What was that like going from Catholic High, a very large high school, but then playing at Alec Box Stadium? Yeah, that was a dream come true. I didn't really know if it was going to happen. I walked on the team, redshirted my freshman year, only through eight innings as a sophomore, and then all of a sudden, like you said, the, the Friday night starter and, you know, really one year and then have moved on to the next level. But what a dream that was. That one season was a lot of fun. And now, you know, one of the guys we were tweeting at today, Dr. Brett McCabe, who you yep. remember from your Catholic High days, the LSU days, sports psychologist. Talk to the fans out there, you know, the different mentality. We have high school football here tonight, high school baseball to college baseball. What's the difference mentality? that you have to have pitching in front of, I don't know, 50 people in high school to 8,000 right. people at Alec Box. Yeah, I mean, you got to be mentally tough, and I say that all the time. There was a lot of guys that were way more talented than I was, and I made it past them because I just wasn't going to lose. I refused to lose and always going to outwork the guy next to me and always going to outwork everybody on my team uh, to make it to that, le that next level. Yeah, you're one of the few guys I think that we can say at Catholic High, Catholic High Grizzly great, LSU, and then an Olympic gold medalist. Talk to the fans about that. You know, head coach Paul Maneri just got done coaching yep. the USA baseball team. You have an Olympic gold medal. One thing I'm always curious about, where do you keep it? I'm ashamed to say it's in, it's just in my house, in my, <laughs> in my drawer. Nothing <laughs> nothing special, but, you know, Coach Maneri says it all the time. And, and uh, you know, Tommy Lasorda was our manager, and he would say it. There's nothing better than playing with USA across your chest. It's awesome being at Catholic High, awesome being at LSU, but there's something about – USA across your chest because when Catholic High wins, the Catholic High fans are happy. LSU wins, LSU fans are happy. When USA wins, the entire country is happy. Yeah, that must have been fantastic. And I remember actually coming out there and watching the USA team when you did that. It's a lot of fun. If you can't tell folks at home or on WBTR, I'm a big fan of this guy. So actually, you know, <laughs> used to live in the neighborhood with him. Big fan, Kurt Ainsworth here joining us. Catholic High, Grizzly great, LSU great, USA baseball. Went on to the major leagues. But now let's really talk about what's going on now. Probably one of the most recognizable brands Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and maybe the country now, Marucci. What is the Marucci name? I know. Now I tell yep. our fans a little about that. And what are y'all doing over there, man? Just exploding. Yeah, we've been very blessed, I can tell you. Uh, it 
it happened kind of by accident, uh, by injury. I got hurt, Joe Lawrence got hurt, and Jack Marucci was our trainer, and he's still the head trainer at LSU to this day. So we came back, we're rehabbing, Jack's our trainer, and you know, fast forward a bunch of years ago, that was 2004, uh, we started a company called Marucci Bat Company, and you know, we've hired a bunch of good people, we have an unbelievable team at Marucci, and you know, we've been fortunate to grow and become the number one bat in the big leagues, and now we're adding in a lot of other product lines and, and having a lot of fun. Yeah, and we're so honored that, you know, Marucci Sports is uh, one of our corporate partners here at Catholic High. So not only will you see y'all's name at the football games, the basketball broadcast, baseball broadcast, all of our other functions on the Bruin Broadcast Network, really honored to partner with you being a corporate partner. We've also now partnered with you what we're going to call, I think, the Bruin Marucci Store, something right. that I think individual sports have seen, but now the entire school and population will see. What can we expect, or what's that all about? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really for all the sports now. It's you know, it's always down to bowling, ultimate. It's got basketball, baseball, football. It's it's. I've seen the legendary coach Kyle Acord work on this the last few days to build this uh, this website, if you will, for all the fans. And you know, we want to be able to have everybody in black and orange wearing Marucci products. So they really put a lot of time in there. And so it's going to be men's apparel, women's apparel, it's kids' apparel. So it's going to be. Uh, something you'll see a lot of fans wearing. And I think I was in the Catholic High bookstore last week and Miss Penny, Miss Olivia that are down there, you know, even they're kind of excited as well that, you know, they can really show off in the bookstore. You can come by, see it, feel it if you want to touch it, right. then go on and buy it. You know, we got listeners all over the country on Bruin Broadcast and anywhere we'll ship it to them and then get great Catholic High stuff to all the alumni around the nation, right? That's it. Yeah. It's going to be sent out to everybody. Anybody that has a tie to Catholic High, has a, a family member playing or somebody that just likes the school, it, it really is a really cool fraternity we see we run into Catholic High people all over the country as I travel. Yeah, I usually keep on a C or an LSU thing somewhere in airports. It's really neat to hear a go Bears or a go right. Tigers. It's a lot of fun. So talk to us now. You know, we know you're a baseball guy. You've been watching the game so far. Yep. What do you think? How's Catholic High look here in the first half? You know, they look good. I'm sitting here kind of pulling for my little nephew to get in at some point. You know, he's a sophomore. He's got to pay his dues. A really good starting quarterback ahead of him. But, you know, I have a junior at the academy now. So she wants to come to all the games, and now she's driving. It's, it's a little bit <laughs> a little bit different for me. But I like coming out here and watching these guys. They, they play hard. The coach has done a really, really good job with the team. They're very disciplined, and it's fun to watch. Yeah, nothing really has changed from those old Catholic High teams with Dale Weiner, yeah. Coach Hood, and Garrett L. out there. It's still Cur Dog football out there and we hope to see a lot of the Kerr Dog merchandise on Marucci and we're going to have a great time and Kurt we just want to thank you so much for being in the booth yeah. Grizzly great LSU legend USA baseball gold medalist corporate sponsor Marucci and Kurt Ainsworth you're the best thanks my first halftime guest here is the voice <laughs> of the Bears what an honor and privilege and folks we'll be right back here on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR with just a sketch on a napkin, two bench warmers aspire to create an experience like never before. Walk-Ons is a hometown favorite. With the delicious taste of Louisiana food, the loving energy of Louisiana culture, and the heart of a Louisiana good time. Join us at ESPN's number one sports bar in America. Hey, this is quarterback Drew Brees. Come support your hometown team, Baton Rouge, at Walk-Ons. Vote at ESPN's number one sports bar in America because everyone needs a little playing time. Welcome to Slocal. Slocal is an educational initiative that allows you to give back to a school while supporting local businesses. Sign up in three easy steps, and 25% of your subscription will go back to a school of your choice, all while you enjoy savings and offers from your favorite local businesses. It's as simple as finding a business, opening the page, and redeeming the offer. Go to www.getslocalapp.com to find out more today. what our younger daughter Emily wants piano lessons and a piano that was a surprise our oldest daughter Jenna wants to have her wedding here at home that was a surprise good thing I have a home equity line of credit at Mid-South Bank and good thing I have Mid-South Bank's mobile banking app to pay my bills and check my balance on the go because I am going to be busy if your family's like my family you'll love Mid-South Bank great service no surprises Mid-South Bank member FDIC equal housing lender at Moro Physical Therapy, we understand the importance of keeping you in the game, in athletics, and in life. That is why we offer convenient appointment times and excellent therapists in all 10 of our locations in and around the greater Baton Rouge area. As a proud corporate partner of Catholic High School, we're excited to be a part of the Bears' success throughout the years and into the years to come. For more information on the services offered, visit www.moropt.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Moro Physical Therapy. 
I'm Hunter Callis, class of 05. Since 1998, businesses have called Net Concepts to solve their technology needs. Net Concepts provides a single point of contact for your phone system, computer network, and IT needs. A proactive approach aims to minimize downtime while providing a flat monthly budget for your office technology. Give Net Concepts a call at 774-7474 or visit us online at netconceptsbr.com. We proudly support our Bears and their run for another state championship. Go Bears! And welcome back to Catholic Chi Football here on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Just a little bit of time before the teams come back out for the second half. We really want to thank Kurt Ainsworth and Marucci. So, folks, if you heard that, there's going to be a new Catholic Chi Marucci store that will be coming to the Catholic Chi to the Internet. So be looking, be heading to CatholicChi.org. What's happened in the past, the teams could go in there, log in, put a logo, get some Marucci gear. What they've done now in partnership with the school and Marucci with Kurt Ainsworth leading the way, Catholic high grad. We're going to have all sorts of apparel there for not only just individual sports teams, but all of the student athletes, all of the students at Catholic high, all the fans out there. You want something for your baby, your friend, Valentine's Day in February, whatever that might be. You know, Kev, you know, you're getting married in December. Maybe that's special yes. something for that special lady. When Just you're walking what all down. ladies want is some Marucci gear by Catholic High. You, hey, what? Hey, she would love that. I think she would absolutely love it. The, cra the greatest thing about about Ainsworth is I remember him and his family. I remember him when he was a, a little shorty. He was a little bitty ball boy for Catholic High, and I remember him back that far. I don't want to tell people how long it's been, but I do remember him when he was a little boy. Uh, him and his family are great, great people. Uh, Kevin Ainsworth actually played with me. Uh, they do a great job with the community and also in business. They do a great job. Yeah, they do a great job, and who also did a great job was that Catholic High offense in the first half right yes. there. Put up 13 points and had total offense of 245 compared to just 95 yards for the Parkview Baptist Eagles. Yes. You know, Kevin, for those folks that weren't listening in at pregame, let's go back over those Kevin's keys you talked about, and we'll yes. see how they're doing so far through the first half. Well, the wide receiver and the, the wide receiver quarterback timing. We saw a little bit of it, but then we didn't see that much of it. But this half, I'm looking to see a little bit more because the, gr the ground game has been established. And also the offensive defensive line in the trenches. How's that working in the trenches? Who's winning that battle in the trenches? And third is the cur dog football. Who's winning the Cur Dog football in the trenches? Hey, can you move that line? Can you control it? And I think we saw a lot of Cur Dog there in the first half from Jake Outlaw. I thought he really did a great job. The leading rusher for the Bears, five rushes for 61 yards and had that long 38. He's averaging 12 yards right now in the first half. And Cameron Dartes with that timing, pretty good, six for nine, 80 yards. But really so far in the first half, has been a lot of clock management, and he really hadn't gone to the pass. And when he did throw it, yes. short, quick passes, efficiency yes. and effectiveness yes. seem to be yes. the call word so far for Hudson Fuller in that offensive coordinator position. Uh, uh, I can see it. He's he just a surgeon. He, he doesn't get he rattled. He, he does a good job with passing and throwing. He does an awesome job with that. He really, really does. Yeah, he's doing a great job right there for the Bears. And the Bears are now on the field warming up. Parkview Baptist is warming up. The kickers are out here. And it looks like we're going to have right at around two minutes to go till we'll return. So we'll take a two-minute break here on the Catholic High Radio Network on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. We have a new player on the field, and he's ready for kickoff with a delicious Coca-Cola. The kick. Ice giving him a little trouble as a few cubes shake loose. He's probably going to pour it here. He does. The liquid cuts through an opening. That Coca-Cola's looking pretty good. Can he go all the way? He's going for it. He did it. And just listen to that fizz. Thousands of bubbles jumping in excitement. That might have been the most refreshing thing that I've ever seen. Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. Since 1962, El Rio Grande has been the home of the most authentic Mexican cuisine in town. Second generation proprietor and 1990 Catholic High graduate Raul Urdiales and his family pride themselves on using fresh ingredients, timeless recipes, and healthy portions for an amazing dining experience. Be the hero at your home or business with homemade tamales by the dozen. Or join us for Taco Tuesdays. Come to the restaurant that put Mexican cuisine on the map in Baton Rouge and has stood the test of time for 55 years. El Rio Grande on Airline Highway, just north of Cortana. 
Bolton's Health Mart Drug Store is a proud sponsor of this year's Catholic High Grizzly Bears football team. Bolton's, like Catholic High, is a part of Baton Rouge's history and has long been one of our city's neighborhood pharmacies. The next time you need a unique gift idea or for any medical prescription need, think of Bolton's Health Mart Pharmacy, 2958 Perkins Road. For delivery in South Baton Rouge area, call us, 343-4869, 343-4869. Bolton's Health Mart, peace of mind today and into next century. Hey Bear fans, the CHS Bookstore is geared up and ready for you to arrive to the big game in style this season. Come check out all the latest apparel and fan gear to pack the stands in orange and black. Don't miss out on this season's sideline collections. Football tickets can be purchased right here for every game week. Purchase your 2017-2018 CHS Athletic Spirit Pass for you and your family. It's the best deal in town and gets you into every CHS home sporting event. Show your CHS pride by visiting the CHS Bookstore. Open on school days, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. Thank you and go Bears! And welcome back, folks, to Catholic High Football here on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. We are proud to bring you the Catholic High Football games all season long on 104.5, Bruin Broadcast on the Internet, and now live on Channel 19, Cox 144, ETEL, with a partnership with WBRZ. We have the phenomenal Sylvia Weatherspoon, Michael Shingleton, Pat Shingleton, live at WBRZ, watching in. Thank you guys so much for watching Catholic High Football. Thank you to all the Catholic High School corporate partners, Paul Collins Bistro, Mid-South Bank, Slocal, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola, Marucci, Moro Physical Therapy, Raisin Canes, Lamar, Shoppers Value, and Walters Papillon Thomas Cullins, Attorneys at Law. I'm Dixon Walsh McMakin, voice of the Bears, joined as always by the greats, the Grizzly greats, David Butler, and the original Mr. Football Friday Night, Kevin Franklin. And Kevin, here we go, getting ready for second half action live from Olympia Stadium. Yes. Can Goodson kick this ball in the end zone and give us some good field position? That's what I'm good. I'm going. I'm ready to see. He did it a couple of times last week and gave us good field position. And give that. Hey, give give us a good shot here. Parkview did win the toss. They deferred, so they'll receive the football. There's Goodson kicking off from the 40. He's going to pin him all the way down the end zone. Right at the one-yard line, he will take it out. That's number eight, Terry Tolliver. He's That's met across the 10 at the 12. There's the big hat defense bringing him down. They're going to say he got all the way out to the 14-yard line, a 13-yard return on the play, and that's where the Eagles will start the second half with 11.51 to go. This is a Parkview Baptist Eagle offense that in the first half scored seven points on the board, got five first down, rushed the ball for 73 yards, and threw for 22, a total of 95 yards of offense. Great job of that black hat defense shutting down the Eagles. But hey, different half. Now we'll see who came, who comes out of the locker room a little prepped in their step and see what happens. Here we go. First and 10 from the 14 yard line. Quarterback number 12 will maintain for the Eagles. Roman Mula there. And there you go. Oh, we got a whistle now. Flag on the play it came on the far side of the field, the Catholic High side. Coach Gabe for Tita running out right there. Looks like they're pointing to the Eagles sideline now, waiting on head referee Paul Berry to give us the signal. Kind of walking around. We're going to have an illegal, illegal formation, illegal motion on the Eagles. You know, when they do that little motion in their option play before, sometimes somebody moves or goes downhill when they're not supposed to, so the Bears will push yes. them back five yards. Yes. First and 15 from the nine-yard line. Yes. Great opportunity for that defense here to really stop them. Yes, Kev. pin them back here, give the ball to the offense. Let's go. Yeah, it's a great, it's great opportunity for the Bears here to take over. So we'll have first and 15 from the nine-yard line. That's number 12, Mula. He'll be under center. He's going to fake the dive, throw back to throw ball. Looking down the field now, Bear defender in front of him, tipped off. Number three right there, Bear Evan Venable. The pass was intended for number five, Daryl Cyprian. But there's a penalty flag coming in from the official, the back judge here. He was on the Parkview Baptist Eagle side. And he threw it right where Venable and Cyprian Venable were aggressive Cyprian. for the football. And they're going to say pass interference against the Bear. So pass interference against number three, Evan Venable. Pass interference happened at about the 30-yard line. Yes, he can't get his hands on the guy 10 to 20 yards down the field. He lost sight of that guy. When he lost sight of him, he grabbed him. He put his hands on him. Now the referees, the officials are going to get together on the play. One thing they're discussing most likely is whether or not the ball was tipped. Because the ball's tipped, then there would be no pass interference right there. So they're all looking to see, huddling up, you know. 
They can't see our replay, so we're going to try to get us a replay view here on Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Here comes the referee. So he's going to say no tip, and they're going to say pass interference. They'll mark it off. Bears will be penalized 15 yards. So that'll give them a first down. So now they'll start at the 24-yard line, first and 10 for the Eagles. We haven't had a lot of penalties tonight. So I, I must say that about the Bears. The Bears haven't had a whole lot of penalties tonight. They only only had only two penalties. That's pretty good. But to Parkview's nothing. So that, that says a lot for the Bears. Last week we had over five or six. So having two tonight is important. Yeah, we don't have a lot, but we still have more than them. More so you know them. if you you know want to win the win the penalty battle. So here comes Mula now under center. He's at the 24 yard line first and 10 and another whistle now and I tell you what is happening Kevin right now that is coach Gabe Fertitta on the other side of the field wearing out that official telling him about the illegal formation and illegal motion right there great job by the head coach staying in the officials ear telling him what he's looking for right there and they're gonna push the Eagles back another five yards First and 15 from the 19. He watched film. He watched film, film after week after week. He added stuff week after week, and I think he saw that in film that that guy was moving too early, and both and two guys were moving at once. So you can't move uh, two guys at once. Yeah, great job right there, Deuce Harrison, defensive coordinator, and Coach Gabe Fertitta are walking the sidelines, <laughs> getting as close as they can to that official on the far side to yell at him about the illegal motion. But we'll start here, first and 15 from the 19-yard line. 11:42 to go in the third quarter. Mule under center. Now he's going to drop back, and a blitz in the bear center. Almost got him. He'll roll to his right. Gets a little room. Oh, and that's a Marucci big hit, baby. Number 10, Hayden Shaheen bringing in the kibby on that hit, baby. Woo, nice hit by the Bears. Boom, shakalaka. Hey, if you if the quarterback brings that ball down and run with it, he's, hey, he's a free guy. Give him the hit. Let, let him know that, hey, you're you a runner now, buddy. Mula picked up. They'll say two on the play. So they'll have second and 13. But, man, did the heat. Did Hayden Shaheen come in and bring that Marucci big hit? We just had Kurt Ainsworth up here of Marucci, and hopefully he just heard that. He probably heard that one from the stands. That was such a big Marucci hit. Right. So Mula now under center, trying to get the Bears to jump off sides. They don't do it. Daryl Cyprian, the running back, will go in motion. And a bad snap right there. It's on the ground, and it looks like the Eagles did recover it, but they'll say it's a loss of a yard. So that'll push them back. It'll be third and 13 from the 20-yard line. Hey, that's a good job from the linebackers. Hey, I call it kill him with the shoulders, man. Bring your shoulders. Don't leave with your head. A lot of guys has been putting a lot of emphasis in that. Hey, he brought his shoulders with that guy last play. Hey, that's a good hit. Fill up on that linebacking core. I'm looking at them to make a lot of plays. They're quick guys. They're not really big guys. They're quick and go side to side to side. Yeah, great job by the Bear. When you got a big D line like that, sometimes it's nice to have those quick linebackers behind you. D line takes up maybe two offensive linemen, then come in there and get, we'd love to see more Marucci big hits the rest of the night. So here come the Eagles now, third down and 14, balls on the 20, 10, 11 to go in the third quarter. Mula's under center, we got a receiver to the far side, one to the near side. Man in motion's number four, he'll fake the dive, he's looking for the pass, Elijah Reams on the rush, he's rolling to his right, he's, he's gonna tuck and run now, and he's met by number 27 for the Bears right there, Patrick Delat with the tackle, after Mula was able to pick up three yards, but it'll bring up a long fourth and 11 for the Eagles should be a punting situation. He had to tuck that ball and run with it. They were actually trying to do a double move, an out and up. I saw an out and up on the sideline with a post corner. They were trying to do it. It didn't develop. Hey, that's a defensive coverage tackle right there. Yeah, great job on the near sideline. That was number five, Taiwan McDowell in the coverage. So now punting again for the Parkview Baptist Eagles be number 85, Corey Richardson. Had one punt in the opening half. And he's standing back at about his nine yard line, returning for the Bears, standing at his 40, will be number one, Braylon Morgan. Nice high kick, and oh, he's hit immediately, and two penalty flags come down right there. Hayden Shaheen on the coverage was able to pick it up. You gotta and let him take catch it. You gotta give that guy a one here halo. You can't and you can't leave with your head. You can't leave with your head in, in football anymore, guys. If you got young guys are listening, you need to leave with your shoulders, get underneath the, your body, and then leave with your body. Do not leave with your head. The officials are gonna look at this one now and talk about it amongst themselves because three actually three penalty flags came down. You know, talk about halo rule, talk about leading with your head, personal foul. Sometimes, you know, you can even eject a player in high school yes. if they think it's too aggressive. We got yes. the replay on Bruin Broadcast, WBTR. Braylon Morgan then gets the ball. See? Barely even touches his hands, and in comes number 33 for Parkview, Ian Pushaw coming in. 
So they're going to say it's a personal foul, and the Bears will get 15 yards from the spot. So yes. we're going to move them from either the 42 or the 43, the official across midfield. And he's going to go all the way to the 42-yard line here. And that's where the Bears will start. They'll start in Eagle territory. Bears up 13-7, to 9-10 to go here in the third quarter. You're listening to Catholic High Football on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and watching on WBTR. Baton Rouge, Catholic High Football. Here we go. Cameron Dartez in shotgun. Three to the far side, one to the near side. Josh Parker, the running back behind him. 9-10 to go in the third quarter. Parker will move to his left in the shotgun. Yes. Dartez will hand it off to him. He'll go around the right side, get some running room. Met by the cornerback around the right side. Picks up two. That was number five. Daryl Ciprian on the tackle. Josh Parker will say we'll pick up one, second and nine, Catholic High. Yes, he, he, he hesitated right there. I think he should have hit it, got his shoulder square, got off field, got some yards. He kind of hesitated a little bit because it was a base block. Everybody was base blocking out to the right. Great job right there, but Parker, he'll learn a little bit. You know, he's not so. the original. He's not trying to be the second <laughs> Mr. Football Friday night just quite yet. Second and eight for the Bears. They gave him two. Ball in the 38, 30 to go in the third quarter. Dartez with the play action and the pump. And now he's got Forrest Roy against the far side at the 10, 5. Touchdown, Catholic Kai. Dartez to Roy. Touchdown Bears. Great job, great job. I call him Forrest Roy, the playmaker. That's all he did. He just played, make plays, and scored touchdowns. Great, great play that way. He, he lured the guy to sleep with the, with the double move and went deep on him. Awesome, awesome ride right there, guys. Yeah, really great job right there. A pump fake by Dartez and Roy with the hitch and the go and just wide open. Had 10 yards between him and the closest defender right there. And the Bears take the 19-7 to lead. And now let's see Matthew Goodson on the kick, the extra yes. point. Has missed an extra point and a field goal, so we want to see him get some confidence back right here. Dartez with the hold, Elijah Reem with the snap. Good. Snap, hold, and the kick. And it's good. So with the Goodson extra point and the Dartez to Roy touchdown, Catholic Kai takes the lead 20-7 to here with 8.24 to go in the third quarter. You're listening live to Catholic High Football on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. From a backyard shed in Baton Rouge to the number one bat in the big leagues, Marucci Sports has exploded as baseball's premier brand. Visit MaruchiSports.com and check out all of their big league approved gear, including the 2017 Cat 7 and Hex metal bat line. Catholic High alum and Grizzly great Kurt Ainsworth is the CEO and co-founder of Marucci Sports, a proud corporate partner of Catholic High School and the official equipment provider of Catholic High Baseball. Marucci Sports, honor the game. And welcome back, folks, to Catholic High Football here on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Kevin, I think you have some stats from that drive we just had. Yes, it was a two, two-play drive. 42 for 46 seconds. Also, too, Cameron um, Garant Dortes has, has approached 100 and, uh, 120 yards, uh, 10 attempts with well, seven completions. That's an awesome percentage for a first game. 70% doing well by Dortes. The general, as you call the him, general. I believe, right? Yes. The general. The yes. general's doing a good job <laughs> for us. Yes, sir. And all of his lieutenants and corporals and all the other <laughs> militia out there, they're all doing a good job for us right now. Yes, sir. It's 824 to go in the third quarter. Catholic High's up. 20 to 7 on the Parkview Baptist Eagles. Thank you to all of our fans out there listening on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and live on WBTR Baton Rouge. Goodson to kick off from the 40. Number one's back, Shy Rivers. And this one he will kick all the way into the end zone, three to four yards deep. Great kick right there by Goodson. Not giving Tolliver an opportunity to return the football out right there. Great job by him. Yes. So the Eagles will now take over first and 10 from the 20. Yes, those are uh, the receivers are not not um, they they're not Walker, you know uh, Walker, you know uh, def I mean, a lot of wide receivers, but they're good though. I, I'm not sure what blah, 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 translate to. That's <laughs> flash and dash for these guys aren't as good as those guys. Yeah. <laughs> In his first radio debut, the original Mr. Football Friday Night, Kevin Franklin. But here we go, 8:24 to go, 20 to seven Bears lead. Doing great, Kevin Franklin. Great to have the 93 grad Grizzly great in the booth for us all season long. Here comes Mula under center again, man in motion. He'll give the fullback dive That's up right. the middle to Connor Reed, and they're going to say they stopped him for a gain of nothing on the play. 
So that will bring up second and ten for the Eagles. Now, remember in the first half, they kept giving it to Reed up the middle right there. Yes. Then they would come yes. back with some creative plays. Yes. You got to wonder, are they setting us up for that right here? Setting us up for the long play. I see the Bears are rolling up short. They're rolling up to a man-to-man, -a, -man, a four four across, uh, four deep coverage. So they're looking to, looking to get you deep, especially with, with, with Washington. Kyle Washington is going, you know, he's a highly recruited guy, and getting him deep and getting the ball in his hands is important to this offense. Yeah, Washington will be the receiver here to the near side. There's number eight, Terry Tolliver, will be to the far side. Mula under center. They'll do the counter play and they'll do the reverse coming from the far side of the field. There's number eight, Tolliver, coming across. He's across the 30, 35, still on his feet, and he'll cross the 40 yard line all the way down to the 41 yard line. Pickup of 21 yards on the reverse by Tolliver right there for the Eagles. On the reverse, a mis misdirection, just a little misdirection. Uh, fake here, go around, around the side. Hey, good job by, by the Eagles there. The Bears are getting a little, hey, they're getting used to that dive, like you just said. They're getting used to that dive, 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 so coming the other way with it. I'm going to say that was a fake dive, then a fake counter, then the reverse. Yes. It, you know, kind of yes. two fakes, then the reverse. Tolliver coming from the far side of the field. Now the Eagles will come out. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Mulaz under center. It's number 14 into the game for the Eagles. Clayton Kimball, haven't caught his number yet, and down for the sack. There Ball's go. on the ground. And I hear a whistle. The official is going to say that was a forward pass incomplete. Look for the replay here on the Bruin broadcast. He tucks it. And then he goes to have a shuffle pass. That's pretty questionable. I could see how they're saying he shuffled it forward with his arm. We'll give the official the benefit of the doubt right there. Yes. Looks like he was attempting to push it. Push it to him. I wouldn't call it a pass, but a push. Yes. And they'll call it incomplete. So it'll be second and 10 with 7-10 to go. Balls on the 41-yard line. Especially with those option plays, that's pretty much a, a pass to an option guy. That's pretty much an option as a pass. So he got away with that one on that one. So. And it was it was really close to being a, a backwards lateral yes. right there. And great yes. job of the Bear defenders, Reams and Hayden Shaheen, were there ready to pounce on that football. Right. So same formation, two to the far side, one to the near side. Mulaz under center. He'll get the snap. He'll drop back to look to throw. Great pressure by Finucane. And he has to step up in the pocket. And he's taken down immediately by Elijah Reams. He'll get a gain of one, but a great job of Fanukin with the pressure and then Reem stepping up in the pocket to bring him down. That, that combo right there is, is one of the best co combos in high school football. Those two guys, highly recruited, very, very, hey, hey, they hold the defense down. I think those two are the real captains of that, that front. And then also you got mom in, in, the, in the back. You got Mr. Primetime in the back himself. <laughs> Doing a great and job. Free safety. He's holding it down for him in, in, the, in, the, in the secondary. Fair defense now. Opportunity to hold him. Third and nine from the 42. Two to the far side, one to the near side. Mueller under center. He'll now roll to his left. Got him. And once again, Catholic High on their sideline. The official throws the flag for the illegal procedure, and he will. you're going to push him back five yards. That's now the third or fourth time during this drive that we've seen that official throw that flag. So it was third and nine. They're going to push them all the way back. It'll be third and 14 from the 37-yard line right there. This is what Nick Saban calls, when you're tired, can you execute? When you're tired, can you do what's right? Can you do run the offense? Can you do what we ask you to do? And here right here, they got too many people moving at one time. So here, that's what you have here. Yeah, when you're tired, you're trying to get that just that quick little extra step on the defender that you're going up against right there. Yes. And sometimes you go just that half second too soon. But when the official is looking for it, then it looks like a whole second that you're really jumping in front of the ball front game the right there. Yes. So we'll have one receiver in the near, one to the far side. Mula will be back under center. And he'll act like he's going to drop back, getting big pressure from Connor Finucane right there. He's going to dump the ball, and that's 27 on the coverage for the Bears. Patrick DeLott, he'll swipe it away from the Eagle defense uh, receiver. That was number one, Shy Rivers. Incomplete pass, so it'll be fourth and 14. At they'll be at the 37-yard line, and here comes the punting team, stopped by that black hair defense. Yeah, you're talking about tough. You might be running after the ball. To say these guys are big, big human beings. Post-game statistics brought they to you by Hannes T. Bourgeois, well. CPAs and business they advisors. The ball, Good team. And they, hey, they run after it. They go to the plate, to the whistle with the will of whistle ends. So right here we're going to have our hydration timeout on the field. 
And we will take a break as well. Work is an asset both on live. the field and in the business world. Post game statistics brought to you by Hannes T. Bourgeois, CPAs and business advisors. Good teamwork is an asset both on the field and in the business world. The Hannes T. Bourgeois team has been working with businesses across Louisiana for more than 90 years. They offer a wide range of accounting, audit, assurance, and tax services, as well as litigation and advisory services to clients of all sizes. Not all CPA firms are the same. Experience the Hannes T. Bourgeois difference. From a backyard shed in Baton Rouge to the number one bat in the big league, Marucci Sports has exploded as baseball's premier brand. Visit MaruchiSports.com and check out all of their big league approved gear, including the 2017 Cat 7 and Hex metal bat line. Catholic High alum and Grizzly great Kurt Ainsworth is the CEO and co-founder of Marucci Sports, a proud corporate partner of Catholic High School and the official equipment provider of Catholic High Baseball. Marucci Sports, honor the game. And welcome back to Catholic High Football 104.5 ESPN Bruin broadcast and live on WBTR. Catholic High Black Hat defense just stopped the Eagles. They have 4th and 14 to 37. They're going to punt it now. Back to receive for the Bears will be number one, Braylon Morgan. He's standing at the 25-yard line. Good snap, good pressure by the Bears. And the kick will go to the left side. Braylon Morgan is able to receive it at the 29-yard line. Puts a little move on the man across the 30. And he'll be downed at the 34-yard line. And they're going to say a return of five yards right there for Braylon Morgan. And now we will see what this Bear offense can do. Coming back out for the Bears, Cameron Dartez, the general. And his big O-line, let's give them some credit, Kev. Yes. Left tackle, 69, Truett Bankston. Left guard, Thomas Beal. The center, Brian Hibbard. Right guard, Joseph Alexander. And the right tackle, Hunter Chauncey. Don't know if Brian Hibbard's mom and brother are listening right now, but they wanted to say hello. So hello to the Hibbards out there. Hey, I want to say Hibbard is, a, is an athlete. I've seen him on, on, on one of the on the Instagram. Hey, he's a real A. He, he gets after it. He, he's very athletic. Also on the wrestling team, first and 10 from the 45. There's a snap to Dartez in the shotgun. He'll get the sweep to Braylon Morgan. He'll go around the left side, scoots up. They're going to give him a yard on the play. He'll get to the 35-yard line on the sweep play. It'll be second and nine from the 35-yard line for the Bears. Yes, sir. Good sweep play. Hey, get two yards, get a field. Nothing too fancy. I'm looking for ball control on this. this. Hey, it's five minutes left on the clock. Can the, can the Bears drive the ball down in five minutes? Five minutes till the third quarter will come to an end. Dartez in shotgun. Edward Francis goes to the far side. Three receivers over there. One to the near side. Braylon Morgan, the running back to his left in shotgun. And once again, it already looks like Cameron Dartez is kind of already wearing that clock out a little bit. He looks to his right, throws a quick pass to Forrest. Roy's out there. He's got blockers. 35-40. He's across the 45. And they'll say he's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Quick pass. First down, Catholic Kai. Good job. I'm up in here jumping up and down. I love that outside play from that from that screen, from that uh, from the spread formation. I love that play because it, it can turn into a snap of a finger, turn into a big play. There's a flag on the play, and they're going to say holding on the Bears. Didn't see that coming. Must have come in late over there. And the flag is actually at where that trips formation was, where Forrest Roy caught it out there. So they're saying probably one of the receivers must have held the defensive back over there. Yes. Stalk blocking, stalk blocking, stalk blocking, guys. Keep your hands inside. <laughs> don't let him get – don't let the official see your hands on his back or on the shoulders. That's it. That's it. So that will push the Bears back now. They'll get pushed back all the way to the 27-yard line. It will be second and 16 for the Bears. Dartez in shotgun, one of the near side, one of the far side. H back and full back to the left. And he'll do the read play now. Throw the screen to the right side. That's Barhorse, the H back. He's got blockers from his cross the 40, 45, still on his feet, and finally goes down at the 48 yard line. Screen pass to Barhorse. What a great job by the Bears. Good job, good job. Rumble, young man, rumble. Good job. You got, hey, when you got that many horses in front of you, hey, you're going to get some yards. Look at all those Bears in front of him right there. Yeah, how much fun is that for 71? Joseph Alexander and right tackle Hunter Chauncey on that screen play. <laughs> Those O-line love getting downfield. Find me a cornerback. Let me hit some little guy. Ooh, do they love that. Yes, Bears sir. will have first and 10 from the 48-yard line. He'll hand off to Outlaw. He'll go to the right side. He's across the 50, and he'll get dragged down now at the 
they'll say the 48 yard line we'll call it a pickup of four on the play it'll be second and six catholic kai at the 48 yard line there's your big outlaw running back kev hey i fought the law and the outlaw one baby hey he hey he's a he's a gunsling i tell you that he's getting that ball tonight and he's running it upfield he's he's working on about five to seven to eight yards of carries yeah in that first half great job had a 12.2 average right there so Dartez will be at shotgun, two to the far side, one to the near side. Man in motion coming across the field. Martin Hill Rotas left a little shuffle pass under right there. And the man gets in the way. It's Josh Parker. He'll get across the 45, left side. Really taken down by his receiver right there. Yeah. Parker got the shuffle pass right there. And let's see which receiver that was on that instant play replay. Greg Martin, number 17, really <laughs> give him the tackle right there. <laughs> he hit the guy. He was trying to do a little crack back, but hey, guys, you, hey, you, hey, hey, friendly, friendly fire. That's what Coach Wine used to call it, friendly fire. <laughs> Sometimes those, those blocks you're not seeing from your own offensive player hurt the most. You're not expecting them. But yes. the Bears will have third and one from the 43-yard line. 3.19 to go in the third quarter. Martin in motion the far side. Two receives the far side, one of the near side. Josh Parker's in the backfield. There goes Grisafi, and they're going to give him the football on the sweep, and he's able to cut up Turn the field, up. and he's able to get past the first down marker, 40. They're going to say he's down at the 40-yard line. First down, Catholic Kai. Good job, Catholic High, man. I, I, what I love about this spread offense, I had to do a little research on it, but I love the way it controls you. It spreads everybody out, and you you can do offense, you can do uh, passing, you can do runs. Hey, this spread offense is really new to me. I'm an old dog. Hey, but hey, I'm, I'm being taught some new tricks tonight, I tell you that. Great job right there by Grisafi on the carry. And now Cameron Dartez will come under center. Just your basic pro formation, pro left here, bar horse at fullback. Josh Parker running back, the quick toss left, he'll cross the 40. He's across the 35, still on his feet, and finally rolls down at the 32-yard line. Pickup of eight on the quick toss for Josh Parker. Great job by the running back. For a former running back, a guy to be able to, hey, after he gets hit, to be able to get more yards, that's important to me because that means he's going to get two after contact. Yards after contact, one of those stats you see kind of in the NFL and CBS yes. and the SEC. Yes. Catholic Kai would usually have a lot of those yards. So here yes. comes Dartez now in the shotgun. Three to the far side, one to the near side. Braylon Morgan, the lone back. He'll look to him to his left. Quick pass. He'll throw the out pass to Braylon Morgan. And he's able to get away from the defender, the 30, 20. He's at the 15, cuts back inside, 10, 5. Braylon Morgan, touchdown! Catholic Kai! Braylon Morgan on the pass from Cameron Dartez. 33 yards, touchdown Bears. Everybody gets a turn, everybody gets a turn. Good job, young man. Rumble, young man, rumble. I love it. Hey, did you see the block, though? Did you see the block on number 87? Hey, he came there and freed him on that play. That's a good effort. That's what you call it, a cur dog. Hey, he went to go get that guy and freed him on this play. Yeah, you're watching right there on the Bruin broadcast, WBTR. You'll see number 87, Noah Nash going down the field. Gets the block on number 34, Kobe Miller right there. Great job by Noah Nash. And here comes Matthew Goodson on to kick the extra point for the Bears. Snap, hold, kick. And it's good. So with 2.12 to go in the third quarter, Catholic Kai takes the 27-7 to lead over the Parkview Baptist Eagles. You are listening live to Catholic High Football on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. This is Catholic High Principal Lisa Harvey asking you to support the fund for Catholic High School. Our students and dedicated faculty and staff are proud to continue the legacy of excellence begun by the Brothers of the Sacred Heart in 1894. Through the support of the annual fund by parents, alumni, and friends, we are all continuing the Brothers' mission to provide holistic education for our students as they discover their true potential. So please give today by logging on to CatholicHigh.org to be a part of what's defining the difference at CHS both now and in the future. And go Bears! Welcome back to Catholic High Football, 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Catholic High has the 27-7 lead now against the Parkview Baptist Eagles, 2-12 to go in the third quarter. Matthew Goodson to kick off for the Bears. They'll have a new return man deep now for the Eagles. That'll be number 14, Clayton Kimball. That's old Kevin Kimball's son, so Kev, thanks for that. Looks like Clayton might have an opportunity to return it right here. And they'll also have number one, Shy Rivers, back there to receive as well for the Eagles. Goodson with the kickoff from the 40. And once again, puts quite the boot into it. Halfway through the end zone and no return for the Eagles. They will start on the 20-yard line. Good job by the Bears on that, that, that series. Hey, it was eight plays, 
66 yards. Hey, it took three minutes, three three minutes, hey, three minutes and 23 seconds. Hey, I'll take that. I said five, but hey, we'll take three minutes. That's a good job by the Bears. Anytime you score, you're probably going to take that. That's always a good thing. I you love know? it. <laughs> I never remember Coach Weiner yeah. yelling at me for scoring too fast. Yes. He did yell at me yes. for snapping the ball too <laughs> fast a couple times. I told I you to wait till 10, Coach. I want to get more plays in. This is Coach, can I? not what I do. I'm not, not like Kevin Franklin scoring these touchdowns all the time. So here they'll start. First and 10, 20 yard line, two minutes, 12 seconds to go. And they'll do the toss to the right side, kind of behind the running back right there. And a great job on the tackle will be Elijah Reams. That toss was for number five right there, Daryl Cyprian. And it was kind of behind him right there. He's getting up a little limp. You know, it throws your timing off when that toss isn't right to you in your bread basket. Yes, he's expecting to get that ball. You want it in stride. And that's what they do. When you have to take it, hold it, then get, get yourself situated, then run, that kind of throws you, throws you off a little bit. That's what running back, trust me, I know. Threw him off a little bit, and he actually lost a yard on the play. So it'll be second and 11 from the 19-yard line for the Eagles. They'll come out. They'll have one receiver to the far side, one to the near side. That's Washington will be on the near side closest to the Parkview Baptist sideline. On your radio dial, Eagles are going left to right. Mula under center now. He'll drop back. He'll look to the right quick, getting some pressure, looking down the field, maintaining it. And a great job by the Bear defender on the pass intended for number four, Dustin Philippe, but number three, Evan Venable, getting his left hand in front to knock the ball away. Third and 11 for the Eagles. Good job, Venable. Hey, stretch out. Hold the guy, go for the interception. If you can't get it, make sure your, your defender, make sure the offensive guy can't get it. Good job by him. These young guys, these young Bears that playing now for the first time, they're doing an awesome job tonight, man. I must say that. Awesome job. Give a lot of credit to our head coach, Gabe Fertitta, and defensive coordinator, Deuce Harrison, right there, really on the sideline, getting a lot of penalties, too, for the Bears. Yes. You know, not these the officials. Now, this is where Parkview does not want to be. Backed up into their end zone, the 19-yard line, third and 11, and we have – Time out on the field. So it'll be a time out on the field for the Eagles. And we'll take a time out in the booth right now. It's Catholic High 27, Eagles 7, a minute 21 to go in the third quarter. You're listening to Catholic High Football Live on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. This is Brian Hightower, Catholic High School Class of 1997 and the new Director of Alumni Relations. The CHS Alumni Association provides opportunities throughout the year for CHS alumni to reconnect with classmates and further their commitment to the mission of Catholic High School and the Brothers of the Sacred Heart. With more than 7,700 alumni worldwide, the association wishes the 2017 Football Bears the best of luck as they battle their way back to the Dome. For more information on upcoming events, go to catholichigh.org. And remember, it's more than four. It's a lifetime. Go Bears! Catholic High School over 80 years strong and proud. The Catholic High Men's Club providing service and funding to Catholic High to self-maintain a tradition of quality education. The Men's Club membership drive is now underway and for just $15 a year you too can become a part of this tradition. The Men's Club actively supports and sponsors many programs at Catholic High School including the weekly football broadcast. Join the Men's Club now and help us support our service to Catholic High School. Visit us at CatholicHigh.org. That's Catholic High. Welcome back to Catholic High Football. The Eagles have third and 11 from the 19-yard line. There's the snap. Mulau will roll back to his left, looking up the field, getting a lot of pressure from the Bears. He's able to get around the corner, picking up a couple blocks, but taken down on the far side by number three or nine. That was, we'll say, up number nine. Elijah Reams will get the tackle for the Bears. Loss of nothing on the play. So will be fourth and 11, and Parkview will once again be forced to kick it to the Bears. Good job, and the bodies hit the floor. They got guys ripping, they got guys fighting, clawing, scratching, biting people. They doing everything they gotta do to get to the ball tonight, baby. I love that. I love that from a defense. And on the kick again for the Eagles will be Corey Richardson back to receive Braylon Morgan. He's gonna be standing at the 45 yard line, his 45. Richardson is standing at the three-yard line. Expect the Bears to bring a rush here. He's going to quick kick it, and it's off the top of his foot, and it's going to land at the 27-yard lines and bats backwards, and it'll go only to the 25-yard line. That'll be a six-yard kick for the kicker right there. So the 25 is where the Bears will start. They'll have first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Catholic High wants to thank, once again, all of our corporate partners, Walk-Ons Bistro, Mid-South Bank, Slocal, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola, Marucci, Moro Physical Therapy, Raisin Canes, Lamar, Shoppers Value, and Walters, Papillon, Thomas, and Cullens, Attorneys at 
Law. So the Bears will start great field position here at the 25, Kev. Awesome field position for Cameron Dortez. Tonight, guys, he, he's working on a great night tonight. He's 14 for 11 for 182 yards and two touchdowns. Hey, guys, he, hey, that's a pretty good job for wide receiver quarterback timing, guys. That's a good, 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 good One deal. of Kevin's keys, quarterback wide receiver timing, doing well so far. Dartez and shotgun, two to the far side, one to the near side, running back to his right. He'll pump fake again, looking to the right. He's got Greg Martin down the side on the right side. Reception, caught, touchdown! Catholic Kai, Dartez to Martin for the 25-yard score and reception. Woo! Good job, guys. Kill him with the shoulders. Good job. Good job. Hey, guys, he's living his best life, guys. I tell you what, between that combo, man, they're doing a good job. He's living his best life tonight, man. Cameron Dortez is doing an awesome job. Hey, he, that's a high-level throw, guys. He is actually looking off the safety and then throwing the ball deep to, that, to the outside guy, man. That's a great, great job. And those watching on Bruin Broadcast, WBTR, seeing that replay, what a phenomenal job he does turning his shoulders, really making it look like a pass right there. Great job by him. Now on Matthew Goodson for the extra kick and the ball's up and it is good so catholic kai with the 25 yard pass from dartez to martin goes up 34 to 7 on the parkview baptist eagles with 19 seconds to go in the third quarter and we will be right back on the bruin broadcast network 104.5 espn bruin broadcast and wbtr starting my own business was the hardest thing i've ever done and the smartest Building a team, managing cash flow, and creating digital channels is complicated. But my Mid-South Bank business banker has financial tools I've never even seen at other banks and the time to help me use them. Being successful in business today is complicated. Choosing the right bank isn't. Uncomplicate your business banking at Mid-South Bank. Member FDIC. They don't give and welcome back to Catholic High Football here, 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. We're just returning. Cameron Dartez connected with Greg Martin on a 25-yard pump-and-go touchdown pass. And Catholic High is taking the lead 34-7, 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. One of Kevin's keys to victory for the Bears, quarterback wide receiver timing. Don't think you could have timed that one any better right there. No, no. The Bears are doing a good job. I knew it was going to come on sooner or later, and I knew that's something. Knowing I coach with him, so I know coach kind of well. I knew what he would want to work on this week. Matthew Goodson now will kick off for the Bears at the 40-yard line. Back to receive again for the Eagles will be Kimball and Cypria. Goodson with the kick kind of towards the middle of the field, and it's not – they're, yep, they're going to say it crossed the line of scrimmage. He was inside the line of scrimmage. They're going to call the ball dead. So the Eagles will take over at the 20-yard line for the Eagles with 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. Thanks. We want to give a shout-out right now to assistant athletic director, executive producer, general. Slash. <laughs> slash our guiding light. <laughs> For all those listening on the radio, Bruin Broadcast, WBTR, we've put in a new system this year. Really expecting you're, you're going to have just one of the best broadcasts in Louisiana's. So get ready, folks, as you're watching this season. A lot of credit goes to Jay Butcher and Ben De Palma that's up here in the booth with us. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for being here with us. Thank we you. appreciate that. Thank Thanks you. for letting us have Marcus Hibbert, too, a wrestler. We like having him on the team, That's too. It. So here we go. <laughs> Parkview first and 10. They'll put two guys in motion. There you go again. And I don't think you can do that. So there's the no. penalty. And what's odd is, though, the official on the far side didn't call that play. Hmm. And the referee's kind of looking of, uh, hey, what actually happened right there? So you had two guys in motion. Then Connor Finucane came across the line of scrimmage and pushed the center. Referee and the line judges are going to talk about it with the umpire. Yeah, so they're going to call encroachment on the defense because really it wasn't a motion penalty because you two guys can move yes. to start a new formation. You yes. can be moving yes. before anything happens. So that's what they're going to say right there. So it'll be right. a penalty on the Bears. Parkview will get five yards. That'll put the ball out to the 25-yard line. Still at 19 seconds. We have 19 yes. seconds for a while on the clock. Yes. yes. And I'm... The, uh, the park view is just to be able to, to get in here tonight with losing 11 starters, to be at least to play the Bears pretty tough tonight early, uh, that says a lot about their, their team. Yeah, smaller classification, smaller guys. There's a snap. Once again, hits the ground. Mula's able to pick it up. He's around the left side, 30, 35. Got a blocker in front. 
40, and he's finally pushed out of bounds. They're going to say at the 40-yard line right there. Great job by Mula on a bad snap that he picks up and then just runs a QB sweep on his own around the left side. Sometimes the best plays are unscripted. That's what Coach Wanda used to say all the time. Sometimes the best plays are, hey, just pick the ball up off the ground and run 50 yards with it. I mean, Warwick, that was some of Warwick's best plays right then. And a great job right there by Washington on the left side right there. Main, the wide receiver staying down the field, getting the block right there. Give him credit. So they're actually going to put it all the way out at the 41-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 from the 41-yard line. Nine seconds to go, 34-7. Bears lead looking at that Lamar scoreboard right now. Mula under center, one receiver to the near side. There goes the man in motion. He'll keep the dive play, and he's rolling across. Now do the pitch at the 35. He's got a man out there, number eight right there. Taiwan, Jalen Armwood comes in on a tackle. Great job right there, tackling the defender. And that will take us into the third quarter. So through the first three quarters of the ball game, Catholic High leads the Parkview Baptist Eagles 34 to seven here on the Bruin Broadcast Network. You're listening live on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Hey Bear fans, the CHS Bookstore is geared up and ready for you to arrive to the big game in style this season. Come check out all the latest apparel and fan gear to pack the stands in orange and black. Don't miss out on this season's sideline collections. Football tickets can be purchased right here for every game week. Purchase your 2017-2018 CHS Athletic Spirit Pass for you and your family. It's the best deal in town and gets you into every CHS home sporting event. Show your CHS pride by visiting the CHS Bookstore. Open on school days, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. Thank you and go Bears! From a backyard shed in Baton Rouge to the number one bat in the big league, Marucci Sports has exploded as baseball's premier brand. Visit MaruchiSports.com and check out all of their big league approved gear, including the 2017 Cat 7 and Hex metal bat line. Catholic High alum and Grizzly great Kurt Ainsworth is the CEO and co-founder of Marucci Sports, a proud corporate partner of Catholic High School and the official equipment provider of Catholic High Baseball. Marucci Sports, honor the game. And welcome back to Catholic High Football here on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Don't know if the folks have been able to see it, Kevin, but what a yes. great sight to see they opened up the end zone down there for all the extra students that are here yes. tonight for the blackout game. Yes. yes I can yes. only imagine next week when Zachary comes in, the week after U High comes in, they might have to open up both end zones. Oh, really yeah. great to see yes. packed house tonight for week one football. Here we go. Parkview Baptist, second and four from the 47-yard line to start the fourth quarter. Mulai will keep the, keep the ball. Now we'll pitch it out to the far side. He's got number five across 45, 40, 35, and he'll be pushed out at the 34-yard line. Big pickup on the play by Daryl Ciprian on the toss from Mula. First down for the Eagles. Yes, do not lose focus. Do not lose focus here, guys. Still you use your fundamentals, get some young bears in there, and do a good job. Do not lose focus. That's what I tell by the end of the game. Yeah, not a lot of times tonight that Mula's done the fake dive and then not kept it. You know, with the pitch right there, we haven't seen that too many times. Might be going more to that spreading that bear defense out. And he'll come back now. They'll have first and 10 from the 34-yard line. 11.52 to go in the ball game. One receiver the near side. That's Kimball. Man in motion will go. That's number four, Philippe. Now he'll come back looking to get the Bears to jump off sides. They do not. Play clock down to five. Eula under center. He'll keep the dive again. He'll go to his left and right there Good to song. pick him up on the tackle. Great job for the Bears as he goes down. And he'll actually be cramping as well, which is not good. That'll be Fanukin that goes down after the tackle right there for the Bears. No, excuse me, not Fanukin. We'll wait for the number, but a man down, and we will take a Moro Physical Therapy injury timeout. So we'll be right back here on the Bruin Broadcast Network, WBRZ, Channel 19, and we'll be right back. Catholic High School, over 80 years strong and proud. The Catholic High Men's Club providing service and funding to Catholic High to self-maintain a tradition of quality education. The Men's Club membership drive is now underway, and for just $15 a year, you too can become a part of this tradition. The Men's Club actively supports and sponsors many programs at Catholic High School, including the weekly football broadcast. Join the Men's Club now and help us support our service to Catholic High School. Visit us at catholichigh.org. That's catholichigh.org. That was Patrick DeLott for the Bears was injured on that play. First off, welcome back to the Bruin Broadcast Network, 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. DeLott went down. He made a great tackle, then went down. Yes. You're not sure if 
it was the tackle or the heat or something. So right. we got our we got our team over there from Moro Physical Therapy. I see Al Moro actually on the sideline down there. <laughs> it's nice to have the guy, yeah, and Dr. Casey Hill Casey down Hill. there. Phenomenal team and our lead trainer Eddie Bright do a great job for the Bears. Well, second and ten from the 34-yard line, 11:30 to go here in the ball game. Eula under center, man in motion. There he goes. He'll keep the dive. He'll pitch it again. There's number five, Cyprian, around the left side, near side. And he'll get out of bounds. And they're going to say he gets all the way down to the 25-yard line, just a little bit short of the first down. What you saw there on that play, the other people did their, their, did their job. The linemen did their job. The pitch man was wide open on that one. You can't leave the pitch man open, especially on the option team. So everybody has, has a job to do, and somebody left their job open that, on that play. Yeah, that's always that tough job. Lyman has the dive. Then the linebacker in has the quarterback. Then that pitch man, he's got to defend off most likely the wide receiver right there. And yeah. sometimes probably just give Kimball, the wide receiver for the Eagles, a little credit there on the block. Hey, short third and one here. New line center. Oh, and the ball is lost. And there's a scuffle for the football. And they're, I'm not sure he's going to get the first down because the football was lost and he took his knees immediately. They're going to say he was right at the 25-yard line. So he's going to be short. It's going to be fourth and one here from the 25-yard line for the Eagles. What do you think they're going to do here, Kev? I think they can't kick it. They have to go for it. I'm just going to tell you. Not no offense to Parkview Eagles, but knowing their offense, they do that dive play. They're probably going to try to quarterback sneak a dive again. They got to go for it. Yeah, keep big 39, Connor Reed in the ball game right now. He'll line up at, at fullback right behind the quarterback. Tight formation, Mula under center. He'll get the snap, and he actually kind of turned the wrong way, and they'll hand it off to Cyprian, and he'll get a big Marucci hit. But it'll look like they're not sure. Forward motion. Yeah, we'll see where the referees are. Kind of looks like in two they were saying that the ball came loose. The head referee is going to call time. Cipriani will come up. He's limping on the play. Cramping. This will depend where the spot is. The referee is right behind the football right now, and he is looking across the field, chains across the field, getting the coaches to move out of the way, and he's going to call for a timeout. And we are going to have an official. Walters, Papillon, Thomas, Cullins, attorneys at law measurement right now as the chains will be coming across the field. I tell you what, it was really close right there on that replay. He kind of turned at the very last second, and when he fell down, you know, they might have given him the forward progress right there. There's Mr. Daryl Orso, part of the Catholic High Grizzly Chain crew, doing a great job for us. They'll put the spot at the 30. They'll pull it tight. It's going to be really close. Close right here. Got a great job with the Bruin broadcast guys, and they're going to get it. They're going to get it by three-fourths of the football. Great job by everybody right there, the officials, Bruin broadcast team, everybody bringing us that replay. Great job, team, everybody. And good job to Parkview, I guess, getting the first down. Shucks. 10.23 to go. 10.23 to go. It's the Catholic High broadcast, but every now and then you got to give some credit. Throw a dog a bone. Man. Good a dog job. Bone. Throw an eagle a, a mouse. A fish. I don't, uh, a yeah, fish. fish. Throw okay. an eagle a fish, man. 34 That's to nice. 7. 10, 19 to go. Parkview, first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Mula under center, one receiver far to the right side. Man in motion. He'll do the counter play now back to the left side. That's number one, Shy Rivers. He'll get around the left side, pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Pick up a four on the play. It'll be second and six for the Eagles. Yes, they're trying to trying to inside trap. They pull that tackle and trying to get back up underneath there. But guess what? When he turned, he saw a wall of bears, and he had to bounce it to the outside. So... Second down and six from the 21-yard line for the Eagles. Still shaking up on the sideline. Their main running back, Daryl Cyprian, over here getting looked at by the training staff of the Eagles. So he is out of the ball game. But they still have Rivers out there. And, of course, Reed, the fullback. And there they go. They'll hand it to the fullback, Reed, right up the middle right there. And he's not quite able to get the first down. Another four yards. So it'll be third and two for the Eagles. He crossed the 20-yard line, and the Eagles have now entered the Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Red Zone here on the Bruin Broadcast Network. Yes, that's an awesome job. He caught the dive guy going by, so when he caught him by going by, he was able to tackle him when he went by. So that's a good job by him. Good sure tackle. Hey, bring your shoulders, tackle the guy to the ground, don't just arm tackle him. Bears have been doing a lot of great things tonight, maintaining their position. Fanukin up front, Christian Menino, John Landry, Elijah Reams. Here come the Eagles now, third and two, and the official on the far side waving his arms. And we're going to have a timeout by Catholic High. Catholic High timeout. We'll be right back here on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. 
We have a new player on the field, and he's ready for kickoff with a delicious Coca-Cola. The kick. Ice giving him a little trouble as a few cubes shake loose. He's probably going to pour it here. He does. The liquid cuts through an opening. That Coca-Cola's looking pretty good. Can he go all the way? He's going for it. He did it! And just listen to that fizz! Thousands of bubbles jumping in excitement. That might have been the most refreshing thing that I've ever seen. Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. And welcome back to Catholic High Football here on the Bruin Broadcast Network, 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. I'm Dixon Walsh making Voice of the Bears, joined by the greats, the Grizzly greats, David Butler, and the original Mr. Football Friday Night, Kevin Franklin will be coming to you all season long on a Friday normally, but tonight, Thursday night football. Hey, Kevin, what you going to do on your Friday off tomorrow, huh? Hey, I'm going to go check some football. Okay. I'm going to go check some football, man. I'm going to go check some football and take the lady out. Yes, as you know, in December I'm getting married, so I'm going to take the lady out for a little date probably tomorrow. Excellent, excellent. Mr. Butler's over there saying he's going to take his lady friend on a date as well. <laughs> I'll just be out in Baton Rouge. Okay, 924 to go. 34 to 7 Bears lead. Set third and two for the Eagles at the 16 yard line. Mula under center again. He'll have Washington out there by himself to the far side. Man in motion. There you go. They'll go the toss to the right side. Number four, Dustin Felipe is across the 15, 10, still on his feet at the 8-7. They're going to give him all the way down to the seven yard line. The Eagles will get a first down on the carry by Dustin Philippe, number four. How many plays? Yeah, the, the Bears have to get off the field right here. The Bears been on the field for, for a while now. So we're looking at them to get off the field and make some good plays. They're grinding. This is that grinding part of the fourth quarter. You need to get off the field right now. Everybody's tired. So now the Bears trying to get off the field right now. Everybody's a little tired. And once again, we have a Bear that's down across the field. So we'll take another Moro physical therapy timeout right here on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Do the words investing 401k, mutual funds, IRA, and annuities. Have you worried or confused? The partners at Altus Wealth of Mickey Gidry, Ronnie Brown, Jesse Daigle, Wally McMakin, Jeremy Perk, John Reeder, and John Stewart are ready to help with all your financial and real estate planning needs. Find them at altuswealthmgt.com, A-L-T-U-S wealthmgt.com, or call 201-9300. That's 201-9300. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Genos Wealth Management, Inc., member Finra Sipic. And welcome back to Catholic High Football, 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast, WBTR. Dixon McMakin, voice of the Bears, joined by the greats, David Butler, the original Mr. Football Friday Night, Kevin Franklin. And guess what happened? Another Grizzly great walked up into the booth, the one, the only, Calvin Williams, class of 97, coming up here. Man, we got a lot of studs in this booth, and then there's me <laughs> just standing here. All right. The Grizzly regular <laughs> calling the plays. So, Brian Hightower, alumni director, Ben De Palma, the assistant to the athletic director up here as well. And there's a timeout on the field. But we'll stick it around right here. We want to thank the CHS corporate partners, Walk-Ons Bistro, Mid-South Bank, Slocal, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola, Marucci, Moro Physical Therapy, Raisin Canes, Lamar, Shoppers Value, and Walters Papillon Thomas Cullins, attorneys at law. We're looking forward to having everybody here. And we'll take an ad right here. It looks like it'll be a long time out. So we'll be right back here on WBTR Bruin Broadcast. Welcome to Slocal. Slocal is an educational initiative that allows you to give back to a school while supporting local businesses. Sign up in three easy steps, and 25% of your subscription will go back to a school of your choice, all while you enjoy savings and offers from your favorite local businesses. It's as simple as finding a business, opening the page, and redeeming the offer. Go to www.getslocalapp.com to find out more today. Welcome back to Olympia Stadium. First and seven for the Eagles. First and goal. 8.52 to go in the ballgame. Mula under center. There you go. Hand it off up the middle. That's Connor Reed, the big fullback. And he's taken down immediately by Finucane right there. Another tackle by big Connor Finucane. I don't know how many he's had. We'll get at the end of the game, but... 
Whew, it's no. close to double digits. Got to be. He was on a lot of the board last year with a lot of tackles. I just love saying his name. It's like a military name. It looks like he's the big, he's the, he's enforcer down in that point. So his name is going to be the enforcer this year. Fanukin the enforcer. <laughs> All these nicknames. I'm going to need a chart just for that. <laughs> Who cares about my spotting board? Oh, my goodness. Okay, second and seven, second and goal. 8-17 to go in the ballgame. You'll under center, man in motion. He'll keep the dive, roll around the left side. He's going to keep it up the middle. He's Ooh. across. And into the end zone, Mulah with the touchdown for the Eagles. Seven-yard scamper, and the Eagles now go to 13 points, but the Bears still lead 34 to 13. Mulah's ability to be able to take that ball down the field on the Bears and to be able to score it, it says a lot about him. He's a young guy. For him to take that ball down, it says a lot. Good job, Eagles, on that play. Yeah, give Mula a, really a lot of credit. Yes. Just a sophomore coming into this yes. season, it was supposed to be entirely Colton Jumanville, the senior quarterback. Yes. He's done a really well, good job tonight doing that. On to kick for the extra point, 21. Miles Darty on to kick for the Eagles. And the Eagles are waiting for a man to get out there. It's number 14, Kimball. Still plenty of time on the play clock, 17 seconds. You want to? And there's the hold. The kick is up. And wait for the official. And it's good. So with 8.09 to go in the ball game, Catholic High School 34, Parkview Baptist 14, and we'll be back right after this on the Bruin Broadcast Network, 104.5 ESPN and WBTR. One box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we do one thing, and we do it better than anyone else. So why not let our food do the talking? We hand mix our sauce in our restaurants every day, and our chicken is hand breaded when you order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. Top it all off with a fresh squeezed lemonade. Our box combo really speaks for itself. Raisin Cane's, only the best chicken finger meals. One love. And welcome back to Olympia Stadium Catholic High Football here on 104.5 ESPN, BruinBroadcast.com, and WBTR. Coach Eric Held, special teams coordinator, getting the guys ready for the kick return right here, prepping them probably what might even be an onside kick right now. 8.09 to go in the ballgame. Catholic High leads 34-14 to 14 in the ballgame on the Mula seven-yard run for the touchdown. Yes, the Eagles were able to um, hold that ball. They had 12 attempts for 80 yards. They kept the ball seven minutes and 10 seconds. David Butler and Kevin Franklin will get those numbers to us here shortly. And kicking off for the Eagles will be number 21, Miles Daugherty. He'll be kicking off from the 40. Back to receive for the Bears will be Braylon Morgan, who's actually standing at his 15-yard line. Bears are in the onside kick positions, and he will onside kick it. And what a great job by there. But number nine, Elijah Reams goes in front of the 50 and just handles that one like a shortstop second baseman right there. Great job by Elijah Reams to get the ball right there. Expecting the onside kick, really great job. And the Bears will start now in Eagle territory at the 49-yard line. And here comes that opportunity, Kev, up, up yes. by 20. You know, we might see now some new faces, maybe. I don't know, still eight minutes left in the ball game. Yes. Might yes. see some new guys coming in. We will see. With the Bears being a young, I, will, I would like to see some of the young Bears get in here. Get a, get a couple of plays. You may get two or three or four plays, but that still gives you experience, game time experience. I love that right now. And we will see that new quarterback coming into the ball game for the Bears will be number eight. Jackson Thomas will be the quarterback now for the Bears. As we get new guys, we'll try to get them to you. Two to the far side, one to the near side. Thomas is a shotgun, high snap, but he's going to hand it off to 21 outlaw. He'll get across the 46 and down at the 45-yard line. He'll get a pickup of four. Second and six for the Bears. Yes, Coach said uh, he had a great camp. He actually had a great camp, but he just kept behind Cameron Dortez. But, hey, but he, he's a great, solid backup for the, for the guys. And here, coming next year, he's probably going to be the man. Tough kid. Tough, tough kid. Really gets in there. Hey, he actually he does whatever you ask him to do, and that's what, it, what the Bears want him to do this year. Yeah, came in last year just as a sophomore and did really great things for that Bear offense. We got two to the far side, one to the near side. Jackson Thomas still in the ball game. Outlaw the running back to his left. Calls for the football. He'll hand it off again to Outlaw, who's across the left side, across the 49 and 46, down 
41 yard line, they'll say. Not quite enough to get the first down. It'll be third and one at the 41 yard line for the Bears. My man Outlaw is earning his keep tonight. He's getting those carries. He's, he's, he's turning them shoulders upfield. He's doing what he do well. Uh, he got the number 21 on. I guess, uh, he's a prime, he thinks he's a prime time player. He's a big timer. So I'm going to just give him the name Big Time. That's his name. <laughs> he's nicknamed. <it. laughs> Unbelievable. You Third and football. two for the Bears. 6.49 to go. Ball's at the 41. They got to get right up to the 39-yard line. This is where Jackson Thomas has got to watch the clock, wait to get down to 10 seconds before he snaps it. Two to the far side, one to the near side. Outlaw again in the backfield. And there you go. Jackson Thomas is going to keep it around the left side, fakes the dive play, and he'll get across the first down marker. Still on his feet, refusing to go down 35-34. Great job to the 33-yard line by Jackson Thomas. First down for the Bears. Great job. Great fake. I was actually looking at the fake, and he faked me out too. Hey, good job, Jackson, man. Hey, Jackson, good tough kid, like we said. He get, get your shoulder square and get some yards there. Hey, get, get you some yards on, on the board too. Yeah, Jackson Thomas, a two-sport athlete for the Bears, also on the Bear baseball team, doing a great job. So now we have two receivers on the near side, one on the far side. New running back into the game for the Bears is number 20, George Hart. Might be calling the name George Hart now. George is just a sophomore running back. 6-12 to go in the ball game. Bears up by 20, 34 to 14. Jackson Thomas now, General Junior, he's in control. There you go, he'll hand it off to Hart. He'll go around the left side. He'll cross the line of scrimmage. He'll get to the 30, 29 yard. Let's say he crossed the 30, the 29. They'll give it a pickup of five yards. It'll be second and five for the Bears. Coach is testing out his, his second team line and the second team running back and quarterback. He's checking out those guys to see if there's somebody they can count on. If a body goes down, hey, guy, you could go in there. You've, you've been in the game. You've had, you've had experience. So get in there and make a play. And at this time, Catholic High in the field on the Parkview Baptist will take a hydration timeout. So we'll take a timeout as well. You're listening to Catholic High Football on 104.5 ESPN, Bruin Broadcast, and WBTR. Dozy Place in Mid-City, Baton Rouge is your family-friendly neighborhood steakhouse right around the corner from Catholic High. Just like the Bears, Doz is all in on their commitment to a winning team. They hand-cut their steaks daily with beef loins that are aged at least 21 days. So head to Doze before or after the game and help them keep the winning tradition. Doze Eat Place, located at 3723 Government Street, or call 387-5331 or visit dozebatonrouge.com. Calandro's Supermarket is proudly celebrating 77 years in business with the best service, quality, and selection in Baton Rouge since 1941. And in those 77 years, two generations of Calandro men who graduated as proud CHS Bear alums, and we'll all tell you that we owe our success to the wonderful education we received at Catholic High. So whether it's at one of our two local grocery stores or at the CHS football games, we'd love to see you enjoy. And welcome back, Catholic High football, second and six from the 29-yard line. Jackson Thomas at quarterback. He'll hand it off now to the right side. Running back will get across the 30, down to the 29-yard line. Tackle by number 58 for the Parkview Baptist Eagles. That was Outlaw on the carry. Schaefer Cobb on the tackle for the Eagles. Good It'll job be by the Bears. third and six now from the 29-yard line. Yes, good job, Bears, on that. When the film goes on, how do you do with your matchup? You got some good matchups now. He want to see how you match up, and he's probably going to highlight you in film. How did you do against that guy? Did you give up? How hard did you, did you drive the guy? Did you finish your block? Did you run to, the, run to the tackles and run to the offense? Bears will have it now third and six from the 29-yard line, 4.50 to go in the ball game. Jackson Thomas at quarterback, outlaw the running back. we in the backfield to his right. Now he'll switch over to the left. Two to the near side, one to the far side. That's 88 in the ball game for the Bears. Titan Henley, the H back to the left side. And Jackson Thomas will roll to the left. He'll look down the field, back route. And it looked like it should have been maybe a pass interference. 87, Noah Nash was looking for the call. Didn't quite get it on the far sideline. And that's a call you're probably not going to get when it's 34 to 14 with no. 4.30 to go in the ball game. No, he looked like he was draping on the guy as soon as he broke to him. Uh, we got a lot, lot of contact there. But him to be able to roll and to be able to square his shoulders up and still get a good pass right there, that, hey, that's a good job by Jackson. So now Catholic Kyle will be in a unique situation. They'll have fourth and six at the 29-yard line. They're inside Matthew Goodson field goal range, I would say. He did convert a 42-yarder last week. Yes. We are at home now, yes. so we'll see what they'll do. 
The offense will stay out on the field. Jackson Thomas at quarterback. Outlaw will be the running back. They'll have three receivers to the far side, one to the near side. It's 84. Jalen Toast in the near side by himself. Jackson Thomas now with the pump left, and he's looking to the right for the screen. Outlaw was covered. Thomas now will tuck it and run, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. They'll say a loss of one on the play and the Bears are unable to convert, and the Eagles yes. will take over on offense. Yes, he was looking for that screen on that one. I, I, I like that he didn't throw the ball away. He didn't throw the ball into the hands of another guy. He took it and, and, and ran with it. That's a good decision making. So now we know we got a second team guy who can make good decisions when he gets the ball in his hands. Yeah, and Jackson Thomas really got a lot of experience last year. So yes. he's a second team guy with varsity experience, yes. which for the Bears, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. You know, you know not how stacked it can be that, you know, you may not get in until the end of a game, take a knee or something. But the first team defense now will come back onto the ball field here. Yes. And the Parkview Baptist Eagles with four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the ball game, first and 10 from the 30. Yes. And we'll see now down by 20. Do they try to pass a little more? We got two to the far side, one to the near side. There's Mula. He'll keep the dive, he'll go to the right. And he's able to turn his body. And a nice job right there by number two for the Bears. Harper Massey putting his shoulder right there, making sure he doesn't get any extra yards. And they'll say he picked up two on the play. It'll be second and eight from the 32-yard line. It's something left he wants to see in these defensive players. I see one guy jump, running on now. He wants to see, he's taking the big man out. He wants to see these defensive players do a little bit more before he lets them out and play some other guys, uh, bring some other guys in here. That was 52. DeMonte Rogers, the senior defensive lineman, coming in to replace Connor Finucane. And Eddie Bright, our trainer, is coming onto the ball field. Yep, we have a Parkview Baptist player down. So we're just going to stay here, though. It's 348 to go in the ball game. 34 to 14. Catholic High is leading. We're just going to take you to, as we're talking, it's a Moro physical therapy timeout on the field, but we're going to stay with you. That's number 50 for the Eagles, who went down right there. Hunter Wascom, the senior offensive lineman, defensive lineman. You know, that's a guy, Kevin, we talked about. A yes. lot of these Parkview players had to play both sides yes. Yes. of the ball. Yes. Not surprised. Humid night, hot night. That we're going to see them now start to go down, just, just simply cramping on the field. You, what, what I saw on film is these guys are good for their classification. These guys are not bad athletes at all. They're playing against Catholic High here, and Catholic High is coming off a good year. So these guys are, are good on film, and Wascom was one of those good guys I saw on film last week. Mula now under center to the far side, one of the – near side he'll drop back looking deep down the field has a receiver over the middle of the field that's number one shy rivers he'll make the catch in front of the strong safety right there crosses the 50 and he'll be taken down at the left side at the 47 yard line huge pickup right there by the eagles and they are now in bear territory at the 47 yard line first and 10 for the eagles and in the field we call that a flood so basically you clear out with all the rest of the guys and you run that square in a square out cross underneath so they was right underneath all the coverages. And they hit him on that flood, too, right there. Great pass by yes. Mueller. Give him credit. Put it right on the numbers. He's under center now. Man in motion. He'll fake the dive. Come to the near side. He'll pitch it. Running back was really close to him. And the Bear defenders were right there to tackle him on the play. 44 for the Bears. John Carter Davis. Nope, that's Jake Schnecksnyder, 44, with the tackle for the Bears. You see all these Bears now running on the field. Me, <laughs> me and Dixon up here watching them. They're running them on and off because you got two minutes left. It's time to get some quality reps for these young guys. And also film session. Hey, man, let me see how you look on film. Let me see you got three plays in. And did you make those three plays the best three plays you had? Yeah, we're going to try to get you all some numbers, folks, as these guys are running in. But still keep you updated. Second and 11 from the 48, 237 to go in the ball game. Parkview, once again, Mula looking to his right, threw it behind the receiver right there, but he called it. That's number one, Rivers. He's down the right side across the 40. He's at the 36, 35. They'll say they pushed him out right at the 36-yard line. Pick up a 12 on the play. Another first down for the Parkview Baptist Eagles. You can't beat the Bears inside, so they just ran that little play, just like a little sweep outside to him, a little spot play. We call it a spot pass back in our day, where you just spot up, throw the ball to him, and let him make a play. Let the wide receiver make a play and make a play downfield on him. Let's get you try to get you some of these numbers we got on the field right now. We got 13, Barack Boudreaux, cornerback, 44. Jake Schneckschneider's in the game. 26, Michael Trenauskas is in the game. And the Eagles have first and 10 from the 36-yard line. And 
they'll take a timeout on the field. Parkview Baptist calls a timeout. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. Catholic High's up 34 to 14 with 2:11 to go in the ball game. You're listening to Catholic High Radio on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. At Moro Physical Therapy, we understand the importance of keeping you in the game, in athletics, and in life. That is why we offer convenient appointment times and excellent therapists in all 10 of our locations in and around the greater Baton Rouge area. As a proud corporate partner of Catholic High School, we're excited to be a part of the Bears' success throughout the years and into the years to come. For more information on the services offered, visit www.moropt.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Moro Physical Therapy. Hey, welcome back to Catholic High Radio here. Dixon Walsh, making voice of the Bears in the booth with the greats, the Grizzly greats, David Butler, and the original Mr. Football Friday night, Kevin Franklin. This is Catholic High Football live on a Thursday. The Bears are up 34-14 to with 2.11 to go in the ballgame. Parkview Baptist has the ball, 36-yard line, first and 10. Mula under center. One receiver on the near side, one on the far side, drops back. Now he's looking for Washington. He's just going to throw it up. He put a double move right there, and he was open at the goal line. And reception, touchdown, Eagles. Mulaw to number 13, Washington. Hit. We've been expecting it all night, Kevin, and it all finally night. happened, huh? He watched him. He was his head, he, he had his head in the backfield. As a defensive back, guys, if you do the back run, listen to this. Do not look at the quarterback. Look at your man fall in the coverage. Do not keep your eyes on the quarterback. He got behind him on that play. We were expecting a big play from Washington all night. Kind of grateful it only came at the two-minute mark before the game's over in the fourth quarter. Snap was down. Kick is up. And it's good. So with two minutes and one second to go in the ball game, it's Catholic High 34, Parkview Baptist 21 on the Mula to Washington touchdown pass. We'll be right back on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and live on WBTR. Welcome to Slocal. Slocal is an educational initiative that allows you to give back to a school while supporting local businesses. Sign up in three easy steps, and 25% of your subscription will go back to a school of your choice, all while you enjoy savings and offers from your favorite local businesses. It's as simple as finding a business, opening the page, and redeeming the offer. Go to www.getslocalapp.com to find out more today. Welcome back to Catholic High Football here live from Olympia Stadium on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and new WBTR Channel 19, Baton Rouge 144 in Ascension. Two minutes and one second to go in the ball game. Catholic High still leading 34 to 21. Catholic High once again will bring out the hands team, expecting the onside kick. Parkview did it last time. A great job by Elijah Reams going across the front. From near us to the far side, Greg Martin, Elijah Reams, Trey Benson, Hunter Hubix. Trying to get all the guys out there. Looks like Sam Etheridge is on the line. Forrest Roy's right in the middle. Jonathan Medier's out there. And Braylon Morgan is back deep for the Bears. He's at the 15-yard line. Here comes the kick, kicking off from the 40. And they're just going to do a high pooch kick. Braylon Morgan was under. He's going to get it to 25. Near his. side, he's going to go to the left his. side. And a great job right there by the Parkview Baptist defender, number three right there for the Eagles. Taylor Brashear on the tackle right there. They'll say Braylon Morgan got, uh, we'll say, three yards on the return right there. It'll be first and ten for the Bears. And they're going to be at their 28-yard line. One minute, 55 seconds to go. Barring something crazy, this should be the ball game. It should be. If the Bears can get a first down here, they can just ball control, uh, give it to Outlaw, uh, let Jackson run the ball five, ten yards. They'd be getting five, ten yards a pop. Uh, so let's just give them the ball. Let's go ahead on and take the win and go home. Ball game's pretty much over at this time. Just probably come in, take a knee, or run a couple plays. You know what we call this? Shaking, bacon, McMakin time. <laughs> only time I was in the ball game was right now. So Jackson Thomas will be the quarterback. He's at shotgun. Gets the snap right there. And actually, we're going to have a false start on the, on the Bears. That was when the play clock actually got too low right there. Jackson Thomas was doing the claps for him to snap it really quick. Let's try to get these O linemen that are out there right now. I see number 66. Yusuf Atkins is out there right now. Let's see, 74 for the Bears. 
Cohen Allen is out there. Let's try to get some more of these numbers. 75, Sam Cole the fifth is out there. We'll try to get you the others. Let's see, 77, Cole Miller is at center. I'm missing one, I think, so we'll get to them, though. 88, Titan Henley at the H-back. Jackson Thomas at quarterback. First and 15 from the 23. Jackson Thomas is going to keep it. He's going to run the left side, and that's actually Washington right there. The wide receiver also plays defensive back. He got the tackle on him on the left side. He'll, he'll say he picked up one. Got to the line of scrimmage. Good job by the Bears. Hey, just get what you can get and let the clock run down. That's a clock run down play. Yeah, this will be one. The Bears can't truly run it out just on kneeling it, so they no. will need either a first down or pick up some yards and kind of delay the football from getting set as quickly as possible. So yeah. Jackson Thomas, there you go, gives the signal. Hey, we're not snapping it quite yet. Wait till it gets down. Play clock's at five. One minute, 15 seconds to go in the ball game. There you go, hands it off on the right side. There's Outlaw. He's getting him some yards. He's across the 30, taken down at the 31-yard line. Pickup of six on the play. Clock is running. It's at one minute, one seconds. Good job. We'll see when they set it now. It's all about the setting and the time. Good Looks job. like head referee Paul Barry is acknowledging that as well. 51 seconds to go. So they'll need one play to kind of run out the clock here. Jackson Thomas is at quarterback. 84, the receiver. Jalen Tosin in the near side. Two to the far side, one to the near side. H back is left. Jackson Thomas is in shotgun. Running back outlaws to his right. Play clock's at four. There's the snap. He's going to hand it off to Outlaw, who's around the left side, staying on his feet, doing a good job. Finally taken down by number 52, Xavier Butan, who got hurt earlier in the ball game. And that will do it. We will kill off another 13 seconds right there, and the Catholic High Bears will take the victory 34-21. to 21. Eight seconds to go. The teams are lining up, coming across the field, being led by number 11, Hubix, the tight end right there. And play clocks at zero. And there it is for the Bears. Winner, Catholic High School over the Parkview Baptist Eagles, 34 to 21. Stick around right now, folks. We're about to have the postgame show, Shoppers Value Postgame. We'll have a scoring recap, stats, and the original Mr. Football Friday night myself will talk some football. You're listening to Catholic High Football Live on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR. Welcome to Slocal. Slocal is an educational initiative that allows you to give back to a school while supporting local businesses. Sign up in three easy steps, and 25% of your subscription will go back to a school of your choice, all while you enjoy savings and offers from your favorite local businesses. It's as simple as finding a business, opening the page, and redeeming the offer. Go to www.getslocalapp.com to find out more today. Harriman's Florist has been serving Baton Rouge and the surrounding area since 1878. Our professional designers have over 125 years of experience and look forward to helping you with any occasion. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, get well, romance, everything. We have a 100% satisfaction guarantee on every order. Our motto is that customer perception is 100% reality. Original Harriman's Florist since 1878. We want to be your florist. Every single arrangement is handmade and hand delivered. We offer express delivery, friendly faces, and enjoy what we're doing for over 139 years since 1878. We obviously haven't been doing a bad job. However, when we do make a mistake, we absolutely love making it right. Exactly the way that you feel would be best. Call, click, or come by either location at 2291 Government and 1831 Storing Lane, www.harrimans.com. This is Brian Hightower, Catholic High School Class of 1997 and the new Director of Alumni Relations. The CHS Alumni Association provides opportunities throughout the year for CHS alumni to reconnect with classmates and further their commitment to the mission of Catholic High School and the Brothers of the Sacred Heart. With more than 7,700 alumni worldwide, the association wishes the 2017 Football Bears the best of luck as they battle their way back to the Dome. For more information on upcoming events, go to catholichigh.org. And remember, it's more than four. It's a lifetime. Go Bears! Starting my own business was the hardest thing I've ever done, and the smartest. 
Building a team, managing cash flow, and creating digital channels is complicated. But my Mid-South Bank business banker has financial tools I've never even seen at other banks and the time to help me use them. Being successful in business today is complicated. Choosing the right bank isn't. Uncomplicate your business banking at Mid-South Bank. Member FDIC. And welcome back to the Shoppers Value Post Game here on 104.5 ESPN Bruin Broadcast and WBTR with our scoring recap of the first half. Here's David Butler. Thank you, Dixon. Catholic jumped out to a 7 to nothing lead with 6.47 to go in the first quarter. It was Cameron Dartez on a one-yard run. Matthew Goodson added the point after. That capped a 14-play 80-yard drive. Catholic extended their lead 13 to nothing with 46 seconds to go in the first quarter. Once again, it was Cameron Dartez on a one-yard run. Goodson's point after was wide, 13 to nothing in favor of Catholic at that point. Parkview added a score in the second quarter with 6.55 to go in the half. Chai Rivers a six-yard run. Miles Darty kicked the point after. That was a 13-play, 71-yard drive, and it was 13 to seven at the half in favor of Catholic. Catholic added three touchdowns in the third quarter. The first was with 8.24 to go in the quarter. Forrest Roy, a 40-yard pass from Cameron Dartes. Matthew Goodson added the point after, and it was 20 to seven in favor of Catholic. And then uh, Braylon Morgan caught a 33-yard pass from Cameron Dartes. Matthew Goodson added the point after, 27 to seven in favor of Catholic. And finally, with 19 seconds to go in the quarter, Gregory Martin, a 26-yard pass from Cameron Dartes. Matthew Goodson, again, the point after, 34-7 in favor of Catholic. Parkview added two scores in the fourth quarter. Roman Mueller, a seven-yard run. Miles Darty, the point after. That capped an uh, 80-yard drive in 12 plays. And at that point, it was 34-14 in favor of Catholic. And then Parkview added one final score with 2-0-1 to go in the game. Kyle Washington, a 35-yard pass from Roman Mueller. Miles Doherty, the point after. And our final tonight, Catholic High 31, Park, uh, 34, Parkview 21. Thank you, Mr. Butler. And at this time, we're going to take you all in now to 104.5 Post Game Show. Todd Black, Cade Wazan, and a handful of characters on 104.5. We'll have the Post Game Show all night. And we'll be right back after this on 104.5 ESPN, Baton Rouge. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers, craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Superstores. We're proud to join with Mary Bird Perkins in the fight against cancer. Mary Bird Perkins is Louisiana's leading cancer care organization with a mission to improve survivorship and lessen the burden of cancer. Going on now at Olin's Mattress Superstores. Receive up to 20% off your mattress purchase with a $20 donation. That's Olin's Mattress Superstores. Three locations. Central, Sullivan Road in front of Walmart, Walker, Walker South Road across from Sonic, Baton Rouge, Perkins Road, one block north of College Drive. That's Olin's Mattress Superstores. 20% off with a $20 donation. Thank you, Louisiana, for joining us in the fight against cancer. And welcome back to Catholic High Football here on WBTR with our first half stats, the original Mr. Football Friday night, Kevin Franklin. Thank you, Dixon. I appreciate you, man. Hey, the, the Parkview um, had 21 points, Catholic High 34. Uh, first downs, uh, Parkview 14, Catholic High 18. Uh, the Russian net, Parkview had 39 attempts for 186 yards. The Bears led, led the way with 40 attempts for 200. Uh, passing yards net, Parkview had 78, and the Bears had 207. Passing attempts and completions, the Bears had uh, the Bears had 16 for 12, and Parkview had 8 for 4. The total plays, uh, total plays and yards, Parkview had 47 plays for 264 yards. Calicai had 56 for 407. Going on down the line, we had the kickoff returns. Uh, Parkview had two for 36. Catholic High had two for 16. And we have the net. Uh, Roman Mueller led the way with 12 rushes for 70 yards with 4.5 4 yards of carry. And Jake Outlaw 
I fought the Lord, and the Lord won, man. He had a great night tonight. He had 12 attempts for 74 yards and 5.8 yards of carry. Cameron Dortes let, up, let it up. He had 12 attempts for uh, 207 yards and three touchdowns. He did a great job and led the Bears, Forrest Roy, for four receptions for 54 yards. And that was our first half stats brought to you by Catholic High School and all of our corporate partners, Walk-Ons Bistro, Mid-South Bank, Slocal, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola, Marucci, Moro Physical Therapy, Raisin Canes, Lamar, Shoppers Value, and Walters, Papillon Thomas Cullen's Attorneys at Law. You're listening to the Shoppers Value postgame show. Stick around. Kevin Franklin and myself will be right back on WBTR. Welcome to Slocal. Slocal is an educational initiative that allows you to give back to a school while supporting local businesses. Sign up in three easy steps, and 25% of your subscription will go back to a school of your choice, all while you enjoy savings and offers from your favorite local businesses. It's as simple as finding a business, opening the page, and redeeming the offer. Go to www.getslocalapp.com to find out more today. And welcome back here on WBTR, folks. We're live at Olympia Stadium for Catholic High football. The Catholic High Bears defeat the Parkview Baptist Eagles 34-14. to Great job by the Catholic High Bears tonight to take down the Eagles. You know, Kev, one thing we want to do right now, we kind of want to recap the game, kind of talk about those big plays that you remember, that I remember for those folks that are driving home right now. Yeah. Probably stuck in a little bit of traffic, traffic right now, trying to get out to Perkins, <laughs> Kenilworth, wherever they're going. Yes. So, you know, some of those big plays, what comes to mind for you first is that big play of the game? My big play is uh, it's the running the running backs, being able to run by committee. Outlaw had a great time tonight. He did a great job. Also, Cameron Dortes, 270 yards passing. You can't beat that. So he, him himself, to lead this offense, to do what he did, I say Cameron Dortes is my guy tonight. Yeah, Cameron Dortes. You know, for me, one thing that really stuck out, I would say that D line, Connor Fanukin, Elijah Reams, Menino up there. You know, as you know, you kind of ran an option. We With Coach Weiner, we ran a little bit of an option a little bit there. And uh, everything would come as the camera now goes down right there. Oh, I hope you liked our shoes we're wearing. We look great tonight, folks, by the way, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, for Nuke and them to maintain the line of scrimmage, you got to really be disciplined. Yes. Control the line, get that dive play. Someone go pick up the quarterback, watch yes. for the pitch. Yes. I thought the D-line was really fantastic. One of your keys, yes. one of Kevin's keys to victories. Yes, they couldn't really match up well with us, and I kind of knew that by watching film. Some of the guys on Parkview just didn't have the skill set that our guys have. Our guys have a really great skill set. Do the defensive line coach does a great job with those guys at, 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 in, um, in practice. And in springtime, he did a great job with those guys. Yeah, and one thing, too, tonight we were going to be worried about the hydration of the team. You know, I don't know if the folks got a chance to hear it, but in Coach's pregame interview, he talked about Jamie Meeks, the sports nutritionist from the – literally, she's the sports nutritionist for the New Orleans Saints yes. and the Pelicans. Yes. And she came and talked to the team and talked about nutrition, how to be that guy, carry on extra water, what to eat. Yes. And I think you saw it tonight. We had less guys that went down with hydration issues and yes. cramps than they had – of course, we have the benefit, too. Now a lot of guys have to play both ways. Right. But a great job of taking advice. It's not always easy to take advice, you right. know, as a great football player, right. but a great job by the Bears. Right. To be able to get some applesauce, she, she did make some, some points of applesauce, some apples, something like that during halftime to make you rehydrate and get I saw a lot of Parkview guys go down. Hey, no offense, Parkview guys get better for next week. But our guys kind of minimized that this week. That's a good job, guys. Yeah, great job by them. And they'll have to minimize everything they can because next week we'll be right back here live. But it'll be on a Friday night. It'll be football <laughs> Friday night like we planned it all along as the Zachary Broncos come into town. Yes. State champion versus state champion, yes. both Baton Rouge yes. teams coming to town. Early read on Zachary. What do you think? I have an early read on them. A very sound team by watching them. They're very, hey, they have a great, great offense. They're led by a good, great quarterback. So I'm looking at a good, good matchup this this week with them. So Bears are one and zero. What I love about next week's matchup: head coach for the Zachary Broncos, David Brewerton. A former Catholic high guy, a wrestler, which is fantastic. Yes. We love those dual sport athletes and those guys that yes. do a little bit of everything. So it's nice to have a Catholic high grad on the other side of the ball field for coaching the Broncos. It'll be a great game. It was a great game last year. And we'll really see probably some of the coaches tonight will head down to, I think, Zachary next week, go watch them play yes. to get an idea, to get a read outside of the huddle. You've been watching the Shopper Values post-game show for all of the corporate sponsors. For Kevin Franklin, for David Butler, and all the staff of the Bruin Broadcast Network and all of us at Catholic High School, we want to thank you for tuning in to WBTR and watching Catholic High Live 
here tonight from Olympia Stadium. Bears take down the Eagles, and we'll be back next week, Friday night, for Catholic High football. See you next week. Go Bears. Go Bears.